Uh, no, we're listen. chatting right now. We're chatting right now. Mars, Mars, right. you know damn well what you're doing, and the chat knows it. Dub, you're in the big boy leagues right now. You when the be chat, serious. when dub, the dub, chat is gonna dub, be here, yeah. Mars, 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 stop, stop, Mars. You know Mars Blackman. What up, brother? What's up? What's up? Dub, you're you know right what you now. did Come today. You know what dub. you did today. And dub, we told you, we caught this on Open Gym. We said Mars is gonna switch up immediately. Sha- Mars, who's a better playmaker? Shaq yeah. or uh, who's a better playmaker? Before you answer that, King 90 says, Stop trolling, Mars. <laughs> How well, can I stop? I never started. Yo, yeah. stop yo, playing, where's, Mars. Where's Long? Duck him. Big Ox, what up, big fella? What's going on, Shaq? How you living? Yeah, yes, sir. Nobody's concerned where ticket is? Nope. Concerned, but what is that noise <laughs> in the background? <laughs> What is that oh, noise oh, oh, in the background? I, I ain't even on that. I want to get what I walked into. So, Mars, who is the better playmaker? Let's let, let's get back on that. I, Mars, I who we were talking it. about? Was it Shaq or Mark Jackson? It was Mark Jackson or Reggie Miller. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was the better playmaker, Mars? M- Mark Jackson was a better playmaker than Reggie Miller. That's you not se- trolling. That's oh, oh, you were serious about that? It's common sense, though. Oh, okay. Okay. I just didn't know where you was at. And then, so yeah, what, and then you, you believe that somehow I've ever said Shaq was a better playmaker than John Stockton, which I've never said. <laughs> That's crazy. You never said that? <laughs> never in my life, Dub. Never. Wow. Exactly. But you said I was trolling, right? No. You see, dub, when, you, you're when, you, go, when you go trolling for a whole show, no, I don't dub, know if you were making things not. up. You were making things hey, up. Hey, man, I'm not <laughs> sure, Mars. Okay, okay. Making we'll see, things we'll up for no reason. We, it's crazy. We need, we need to get low in here because I'm not sure. So you saying Lowe's, Lowe's lying on Lowe's, you? You say no. Lowe's I'm saying I'm you. saying. Well, when he was like Mars told me, of course he was lying. The stuff oh, that Lowe says about John Stockton is not the stuff I say about John Stockton. So Mars, he goes off a cliff. Not this. Oh, all the time. I when Dub says crazy stuff, it's Dub and Mars. I'm being blamed for that. <laughs> when Lowe says crazy <laughs> stuff, it's the stat guys, and I just get thrown into that. I don't say half the things they say. I just get blamed for it by joint enterprise, I guess. But. <laughs> <laughs> By what kind of enterprise, Ma? <laughs> joint, joint enterprise, joint enterprise. <laughs> it's a conspiracy against you. <laughs> Indeed, it is. Yes. <laughs> so, so that's the is that the conspiracy that you? Not only do you get things thrown on you that you have nothing to do with, but also they try to make you the stat guy too. I mean, the st- the stat guy stuff is just. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll play. I'll play along with it because it's funny. But the stuff that I get blamed for that I've never said or even agreed with is crazy. Don't but, put words in my mouth. I did not say that. No, exactly. I did not. <laughs> no, I exactly. did not say that. It's, no, you're not gonna put that on me. No way. Yo, yo, what's, what's up, chill? What's going on, Floyd? Hey, hey, man, man. We in the house. Playoffs, baby. Let's do it. Even though Woo! it's play, even though it's playing tournament shit is corny, but all right, whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. I hate to play in. I'm just like stay. I'm just staying humble, waiting patiently for what Saturday. I don't get. I don't give a damn about none of this playing stuff. This this playing don't got nothing to do with us. (laughs) No doubt. No doubt. This this, this the the undercard, Big Ox. This 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 ain't what this this ain't the main event. This the undercard. Y'all ain't on the undercard. (laughs) Yeah, facts. You know, hey, Big Dogs is chilling. (laughs) How many? How many years? Hey, Ox. Ox, how many times? How many times? I know you looked into it. How many times would the Kings have been in the play-in if it existed over the last seventeen years? I've never looked into that phone. I have no idea. That, hey, you know that's irrelevant to me. You know, I'm, hey, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a live now type fella. You know. All right. The, yeah, like the I said, play-in enjoy, is the worst. Enjoy those nature. four games. Enjoy, enjoy those four games. Can you answer me this question? Then you're a King guy, right? Mm-hmm. How the yeah. hell do the Kings think they are so good that they can double the price? Of the cheapest ticket, they they're charging double what the Golden State Warriors are charging. And that's because that's, that? that's 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 not off that's not off far fluent. That's that's a Warriors issue. They need to know their worth. They need to meditate. They need to meditate. They need to get the chakras aligned, and they need to know their worth. Okay, all right. Hey, so. t- hey today's <laughs> price is today's price is not yesterday's price, fluent. Yeah, no, that's all right. that's valid. That's valid. <laughs> All right, fellas. Uh, in light of how the show started with uh, Mars getting lumped in with bad takes, uh, you guys do know it's been a long season. It's been up and down. It's been quite the ride. We've had our good takes. We've had our bad takes. We've had our good moments. We've had our easy moments. We've had our L host. We've had our dub host. What's up, Fluent? So in light of all of that, I just want you guys to send me super chats of the worst takes of the season. 
From I, I put a name on them. I'm putting a name on them. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 just don't just say that somebody don't just say that this is the worst take. Put it out there. Who said that? Mm. Please, yes. Who 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 said that? You gotta hear those. Yes. But let's go ahead and get into it. We have mm-hmm. two games tonight, and we gotta talk about them. Mm-hmm. We have to talk about them. Playing basketball. Uh, let's start with what's we let's save the Laker game. We 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 definitely need to save the Laker game. So let's talk about the game before that. How are we feeling, fellas? We have the Atlanta Hawks and the Miami Heat in Miami. Dub, mm-hmm. I gotta start with you because this is your squad. Uh, we should win. I'm not even gonna lie, uh, we should win. Uh, I think Trey Young might have a good game. He has some sort of like a little rivalry between us, so we'll see what he does. But uh, the way that Jimmy been playing for the last month and a half, uh, Bam and them boys should be able to step up. I, I think we should win. If not, hey man, I, honestly, I wouldn't be mad if we lose this one because then we face Milwaukee in the first round, and then we could possibly upset them instead of upsetting Boston. So I like the matchup against Milwaukee over Boston. There's no guarantee you beat Toronto or Chicago. Uh, we should beat them. You should beat Atlanta, but if you lose, but to you them, should be you different? should be for a seven eight matchup. This would be, I I believe, a huge upset if Atlanta beats Miami. It would, I I I would see it as a huge upset. It could be an upset. Oh, don't matter to me. I'd rather face the Bucks than Boston, so I'm fine with either one. Okay. That sounds wild. That, that sounds wild as hell to me that you'd rather face. That, the Bucks. that sounds that yeah, that's crazy. That that sounds wild as hell to me that you would rather face the Bucks. But the Miami Heat, I think that they should handle Atlanta tonight. When again, I mentioned this in the past, your lead guard for Atlanta averages almost six turnovers a game against Miami. That's the difference in the ball game right there. That's the difference. And no matter what else Atlanta does, he's a turn. Trey Young is a turnover machine against the Miami Heat. They handle him, and the reason why they handle him differently than what Cleveland did last year in the play-in tournament is they had their athletic bigs, both Bam, they got uh, Jimmy Butler on the wing, who jump him, and they chase him off pick and rolls. They chase him off uh, pick and dives. They basically jump him and push him further away from the basket. Couple that in with Trey Young's terrible shot selection against the Miami Heat. I think he's shooting, I think he's shooting right around 40% from the floor. So he's the catalyst. To whether or not they to whether or not they beat the Miami Heat, and I don't think that that's going to be the case. I think that they and I think Miami Heat handled it. Chill, you think they just like speed him up and just throw him off into just doing things that are uncharacteristic, shooting shooting shots that he shouldn't shoot, obviously turning the ball I, over in places he shouldn't turn the ball over. I don't know if it's uncharacteristic because it's actually who Trey Young is. In fact, that's what has been a detriment to their unit this year: him shooting the shots that he shoots, him throwing their offense off balance him turning the basketball over the way he does. He turns the basketball over more against Miami than any other team in the league, right? He had a 10 turnover game against Miami this year. So with them speeding him up, I think that that's going to make, I think that's going to make it even more pressing for him. So I think he's the difference in this, in this game. Nobody else, forget John Collins, forget Griffin, forget Capella, all of those dudes, their primary ball handler and Trey young, he's going to be the difference in this game tonight. You don't think Trey young helps to alleviate or not Trey young, DeJounte Murray helps to alleviate some of that. I think DeJounte Murray does, only except Trey Young handles the basketball more. If, if DeJounte Murray handled the ball more and took that responsibility off Trey Young, then I think it would help them, only except it doesn't, because Trey doesn't get off the basketball as much as he should. And when he does get off the basketball, which is what Miami does, they put him in precarious situations, he turns the basketball over. He makes bad decisions. He shoots bad shots. That's why I think he's going to be the difference in whether or not they win or lose tonight. So oh, do, you oh. think, do you think if Atlanta went crazy – and put the ball in Murray's hands and let Trey play off ball just to throw Miami off. Could that is that something you've ever seen them do this season, even in short spurts that they could just change it up like that right now in a game that I guess matter. It's the most important game of the season. I don't know if I want to go that far, Tone, but what I would like to do is I would like to take the ball out of Trey Young's hands primarily. So I don't want to take him completely off the ball. I'm not saying 100%. I, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't want to take him completely off the ball, but I do want him to get off the basketball and involve other people and let him play off the ball a little more, considering what he does against considering what he does against Miami. That's their game plan to speed him up. That's their game plan to put him in precarious situations where he's going to turn the basketball over. That's why they do what they do. That's why they jump him 22 feet away from the basket. That's why they double team him when he's coming off of pick and rolls because they know that he's going to make the decisions that he makes. That'll just be a bad thing to have 
Trey Young just start running off ball. Now, anytime when he goes off ball, when DeJounte Murray's handler out, it's really just taking a turn. Like, he'll just sit there and watch. Like, he's not really moving off the ball a lot. He's just sitting there watching DeJounte Murray do something. So, that wouldn't be a good that wouldn't be a good game plan for them because they haven't what, done that all year. Which no, is no, but crazy. Dub, I, dub, I meant, I meant, I meant if he actually properly played off ball and allowed him to like shoot. Not again, not all the time, but it, of course, if he's just going to stand there and do nothing, no, that's not going to help anybody. I meant if he properly plays off ball, comes off screen. Yeah, but if they like haven't, that. if they haven't been properly doing that all season, why are we just going to assume that they just go? ramp it up like it just doesn't happen so i i they're Ooh, gonna that, have to... that would be good coaching mm, mm, mm. so yeah. a, team, a team that hasn't been doing something all season you can't just expect them to just flip yep. a switch a play style yeah mm, okay so golden state aren't gonna just flip a switch in the playoffs okay yeah i'm not convinced on golden <laughs> state yeah I'm, I'm not i'm not all too convinced on golden state talk that to him more. Is crazy yeah. talk to him more and you know who got the, you know who got the best away record in the west conference mm. Oh, that's right. That's right. Is it the state of Northern California? I didn't okay, know that. Okay, okay. Oh, so. but, but, but to your point, Doug, but, but to your point, Doug, when you were talking about DeJounte Murray just standing around, I think that's due to that offense because when he played in San Antonio, there was a lot of act, there was a lot of action off the basketball, and he played off the basketball, and he thrived in that offense. So for him to be in that Atlanta offense where Trey Young is the primary ball handler, and they basically just play off of him, Right. Not only do they play off of him, they do a lot of standing around. There's not a lot of action off the basketball. So I think that that is another problem with Atlanta. I just I again, I think that with him on this roster, with him in this game in particular, I think that he's going to be the difference in whether or not whether or not Atlanta wins or loses him and him only. I agree. I agree. If he has a crazy night, I think he could pull off an upset. He's done it before. So. Mars thoughts on this series. Serious game. Oh, okay. Um, Miami should handle them. They're a better defensive team. They're a better offensive team. I, I don't know what the numbers say, but they're a better offensive team. Um, them being able to slow down the game is going to hurt Trey Young and DeJounte Murray who want to get out, run the floor in transition. they got athletes like DeAndre Hunter, Clint Capella, I guess. But I just don't think them playing a half-court type game is really going to suit them with the length that Miami have. Trey Young will struggle to deal with that. DeJounte Murray, I'm not fully sold on that. I, I just don't think he's good enough, to be honest. So I'm I'm just looking at Atlanta. I don't think they're good enough on either side of the ball, mainly defensively. For me, my biggest issue with them is defensively. I just don't think they're very good. Clint Capella's taken a step back. DeAndre Hunter, due to all the injuries, isn't the same defender he used to be. DeJounte Murray, to me, was always overrated defensively. And we know the problems Trey Young has, even though he's trying more. And Quinn Snyder's not exactly a great defensive mind. So I just think they're going to just lose convincingly if i had to guess 115 101 miles what don't you like about dejounte murray defensively um i think on the ball he allowed he um he gets blown by way too much i think he's way too um he gambles way too much especially on the ball mm -hmm. um he blows up quite a few assignments when he's not on the ball as well in terms of him gambling for steals in the past mm -hmm. and lanes will end up allowing backdoor cuts I, I just think overall defensively i think he has good length Mm -hmm. But I just don't think when you put him against quicker guards, I think he's getting blown by way too easily. And that's the responsibility he seems to have in Atlanta because, you know, Trey Young has to be hidden. So I think he's just not in a great situation for him. And I think people just tend to elevate him a bit too high defensively. So when you're talking about a shot blocker, right? So a shot blocker is a guy who gets dunked on a lot, but he'll block a lot of shots. Well, when I look at DeJounte Murray, who's one of the better steals leaders in the game. I mean, he never led the league. In, I, I think he led the league in steals one time. He might, he might have. He I, might. I think he might have led the league in steals. But with that with that also being said, that not that part of it? Because he is one of the better passing lane, one of the passing lane defenders. As in terms of a one-on-one -on -one defender, I think he does shoot the gap a lot better than a lot of guys. Now, when you talk about him in terms of matchups, I think he switches on the bigger guards really well. I'm not sure that he's that bad defensively when you talk about him getting blown by. I think a lot of that has to do with the interior defense with the with the Atlanta Hawks. Um, with the with the passing lanes, I think the passing lane thing is hard because you got like I do think he gets a lot of steals in the passing lanes, but mm -hmm. like you'd have to watch a lot of games to like really figure this out just from a feeling standpoint. How many, how many of those gambles work versus how many don't work? If he gets two steals a game and three deflections, 
how many times does he try that and then he ends up giving up a layup because someone just cut behind him? It's like those type of things that don't show up in, on the stat sheet. You, don't have, you mm-hmm. actually have to see them unfold. And I just think the risk versus reward of what DeJounte Murray does in the passing is I just don't think it is worth the risk he's putting out. On the ball, I do, I do agree. He can, I think he can guard one through three. Like, I think he can switch one through three pretty comfortably. And I do yeah. think that provides value. But I just don't... Like, I've heard DeJounte Murray is like an all defensive caliber guard. I just don't think he's on that level. I don't think he really ever has been before, like post mm. the ACL tear, pre ACL tear. I think he did have that type of level defensively. I just don't think he has had that since. Mm. Yo, yo, Mars, I do want to mention, like, you know, everybody gets blown by, right? Oh, 100%. Like, Mikael Bridges, it's people that bl- blow right by Mikael Bridges. It's just the nature of playing in the National Basketball Association. You're mm-hmm. playing with world class athletes. And on top of that, the ball moves around, you come off screens, you 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 get shuffled around. It's, just, it's times where it's nothing you could do. You you can't offer no resistance. It's like when you're when you're guarding De'Aaron Fox, it's gonna be more than a few possessions where he's just like, see ya. I'm going ain't to nobody, ain't nobody there. guarding De'Aaron Fox. Except, except Steph Curry. <laughs> All right, Bob. How, how you feeling about this game? Uh, I like I like Miami in this all the way. <clears throat> Just, I mean, just by how – judging off last year, even though I know that was last year and he does have DeJounte with him, and even this year too, I mean, Chills pointed out a bunch of times how they clamp they clamp Trey up. Trey has a very hard time playing against Miami. And if Trey doesn't go, I don't know. I just don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, DeJounte – if DeJounte get going, though, he, he, could, have, he could have a night, but it's, 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 not, it's not likely. So, I got Miami. Wow. So, I'm the only one that has the Hawks. Yeah, but you're trying to stand on this Trey Young agenda. Yeah, bro. So I'm not. not I got the Hawks. Ron, what's the, wait, wait. What's, what's, your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your logic with Atlanta, Ron? What, 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 what are we talking about with Atlanta? Why why you like Atlanta over Miami tonight in, in Miami? I don't think we need to get in this bag. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, dog. My fault if I brought that up. No, let, let, let's, let's let, – okay, no, we can move on. No, no, Ron it's not, No, no, it's not – it's not – just, just be say. honest. Ron, Ron, just be honest. It's not in a, It's not about the Atlanta Hawks. He has a Trey Young agenda. Oh, that's exactly. right. We had this yeah. discussion. No, we were out. talking about the time Luca out. thing. No, Hold on. No, we, were, right. we were talking about that. We were yes, talking about that. Yes. All right. Oh. All right. Look, but check this out, though, because we're not just going to do this and act like the Hawks are just trash or something like that. The, look, when we compare rosters, the Hawks stack up to the Heat fairly well, actually. Clint Capella, he's going to be the biggest body on the court, the, 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 the best uh, – Paint just presence in general. He's a bigger body than Bam Mars. He is. He ain't a, he ain't a better paint. He's not the, he's not he's, the same. He's a, paint I said he's the Bam. biggest body and yeah, he's the I know best that. rebounder. And Fair. he's the best rebounder. Okay, so you got Clint Capella. On top of that, John Collins is not a slouch. Yes, he's having a down season. He's not a slouch though. If John Collins wakes up and all of a sudden puts it together, uh oh, it could be problems for the Heat. On top of that, they have two All Star guards. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, at the three position, they're not really all of that bad. Um, with uh, DeAndre Hunter, they mm-hmm. come in with what's his name, uh, Griffin. Yep. On top of that, though, let's not forget. Yeah, Miami. Hey, Miami don't really got a spark off the bench now that they moved Harold into the starting lineup. Bogey is the X factor in this game. If he comes off the bench sparking and goes for twenty, which he can on any given night, it could get it could get ugly for the Heat. Mm-hmm. Now I'm a, now I'm gonna get to the guards. They got two dudes that can go for 20 and 10 on any given night. Mm-hmm. But, Mars, you were right. I'm pushing a Trey Young agenda. <laughs> no, 40 <laughs> All right. and 10 tonight. Okay. 30 and 10, man? 40 and 10 tonight. 40 and 10. 40. How many times? If, if he's 40, 40 and you 10. Mean, oh, the, 10 the 10 was the turn. 40. The 10 was the turn. I got it. I got it. I actually got it. 40% 40 from the field and 10 turnovers. Got it. Yo, yo, if if he's 40 and 10 too, against Miami. I forgot about Sadiq Bay. If he's 40 and 10 against if he's 40 and 10 against Miami, they win going away. Yeah, I, but I, that's why I, that's why I'm having a difficult time with that. No, because number one, Atlanta wants to play fast, and Miami has one of the slowest paces in the league, so they're going to slow the game down, right? And not only are they going to slow the game down, they're going to make Atlanta defend. So I'm I'm having a difficult time with Trey going for forty. Good luck with that, though. Are oh, you see that that's on, in the chat? They're talking about forty on thirty eight shots. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I've seen. I have. I, I wouldn't write it off. I've seen Trey Young give us fifty before COVID uh, hit the league. And we three years ago, Doug, that's what we talking yeah. about. Oh yeah, that's what we talking about. When he was in, when he was in year two or, or yeah. year three. Hey, yes, 
Yes, that's the year I'm talking about. So I'm not. All I'm saying is I'm fine with us not believing it. But I mean, he is capable of dropping forty though. Like we, we do know capable. that he's yeah, capable. Bro. But I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and think that he's gonna do that though. Yo, take but it. I would say this. My bad. I would say this. Like, what kind of question is that? Fluent, you Sorry. brought up. You good, bro? Look, Fluent, you brought up <laughs> the Miami Heat losing, being embarrassing as an upset. Kind of the that? Lakers. The Lakers is actually they'll be embarrassing, more embarrassing if they lose tonight. And we'll we'll get into that in a second. But ticket, I want to hear your thoughts on this on this game. I don't know, man. I'm kind of confused a little bit because somebody got a brain. It all depends, man. This game to me is a 50 50 game. The reason why I say that is you never know with Miami. You never know what Atlanta. Excuse me. You want to see this game tonight? No, bro. First time I can actually say I've been. I don't know. Because it could go like you said. You could have a 40 and 10 game. And and Miami stink to join up. Both teams know they got a, another game. So mm-hmm. for me, man, I just, you know, Miami does it sometimes, bro. They'll come out and they just flat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like right even in the playoffs, right when you don't expect them. And Atlanta had a little bit of heat on them this week with the whole Trey Young situation. I don't know, man. You might come out, they might come out and put it together and win this game tonight, bro. Ticket, do you think that they move? You think that Atlanta moves? Do you think that Atlanta moves Trey Young after the season? Despite no matter what happens, do you think that they move him at the end of the season? I understand no matter what happens, I mean they get to the East Coast Finals now, each stage, or they go to the they go to the second round and put up a great great fight against the Bucks or Celtics. So, yeah, you know, I mean, I think they'll push for. You know, but I just I don't know, man. I, I, I got a bad feeling for both teams, and I just don't know. It all depends on how these teams come out to me. First mm-hmm. quarter is going to determine everything in this game. I think if Miami can keep it low scoring, determine the pace and tempo of the game, Miami will be there in the end to win the game. I think that if Atlanta comes out like gangbusters and runs them out the building, I think we're going to have a run out tonight. You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be one of them type of games. It's literally going to be, you know, we're going to ride or die off how Atlanta's feeling tonight, you know what I'm saying, um, offensively. They just have one of those nights. You know, Atlanta's a tricky team, man. They're a real tricky team, bro. Like, they'll fool you. You might think tonight they're supposed to get beat by Miami. They come out and hang 120 on Miami tonight. So I, I really don't. I'm I'm really don't know, man. No doubt, fluent. Last but certainly not least, would, would you like to set the record straight? Would you like to make everybody more fluent? I, I, I already told you, if Miami doesn't win this game, it is a huge upset. It is a huge, huge upset. And and to the 40 and 10, I wasn't kidding. Trey Young is more likely to shoot 40% from the field and have 10 turnovers than he is to score 40 points and drop 10 dimes. That's more realistic. So I think Miami wins this. I think Miami wins it big. And Atlanta, to, to Ticket's point, Atlanta's sitting there going, hey, we probably are going to lose to Atlanta or lose to Miami. Let us focus on the winner of the Toronto um, – I don't even know who the heck they're playing tomorrow. And I'm Chicago. Gonna the game. I should probably know that. Toronto-Chicago game. Let's focus on how we're going to beat them because that's more realistic. Trey, no, and, and to, you, and to, you want to make hold a bet? On. And hold on. I'll, I'll make a bet with you right after I t- say this to Jay. Uh, Trey Young will be a Nick next year. All right, what? go ahead. What's yeah. the bet? What's the Knicks? I can see that. That's I'm, not, I'm, not mad, I'm not mad at it, but don't y'all remember all that shit with the Knicks? That would be crazy. Yeah. Be oh, yeah. That'd be fun. Oh, really yeah. Crazy. Can you remember? Hey, they're, they're, they're working with other open arms. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm not saying that. Trey and Zion. Trey and Zion in my new starting lineup for the Knicks. Oh, yeah. Hey, talk that talk. reality. Hey, I hope so. So, so hey, I'm speak looking speak at – so let me make sure that. I'm understanding. Let me make sure I'm understanding both of y'all correctly. So I'm looking at a Jalen Brunson, Trey Young backcourt. Is that what I'm looking at? One more time, Dub, for the people in the cheap seats because they didn't hear you in the back. I didn't Can't hear you, Dub. Can't hear you, Dub. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I said that was so stupid to the comment I just read. Hmm. What were you saying, though? My bad. Oh, Tra- no. So, so I, I just want to make sure I'm under- I just want to make sure I'm understanding you guys correctly. So I'm looking at a Trey Young, Jalen Brunson backcourt next year. That's what I'm looking at. Oh no no oh, no no! no. That's gonna be the snow. That's no not no. Be Are you guys no, kidding probably, me? It'll probably be more realistic. Would be Trey Young and R.J. Barrett. Why would they do that? That's so bad, bro. Hey Tone, you are the one who said <laughs> Tone. You are the one who said that James Dolan got five years to give you this Knicks squad. You are fired. Yeah. I'm not you fired. Are fired. Just if you are making that deal, you are fired. I can't believe no. that you are trading Jalen Brunson for Trey Young. Yes. yes. 
Yes. You, you're fired. Oh my God, you are so fired. <laughs> it's about winning That's basketball. Fired. Fired. Winning you're basketball, fired. baby. You are hey, fired. It's about winning basketball. That's he. Hey, fluent. Um, before I make this this proposition, this this bet proposition to you, I just I would like for you to think about what all of our roles would be in your staff. Uh, once you get that next job, you don't got to get it to us now. Just, with the just, just, just no. let us know, like next episode no. or something. By the They're way, I, I would like to apply for the ticket scalper. By the way, but um, <laughs> back to the bet. So. You you will all you will all have you will all have a job in my next administration, guaranteed. All right, shout out! Hey, shout out, Zion. It's Except for Mars, unless fired. he gets a ticket over here. No, no, we need we need a scat we need a stats guy, so Mars can work from the UK and do stats. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, we gotta fire. get we gotta get Ox some money because he only got like three dollars. So we need we need to get him something. So everybody will be covered. Don't worry. All right, cool, cool. It's crazy he ain't mentioned my name. You see that? It's a little fake energy, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. No, we think that. No, we dub dub. You're dub. Just like just like on this show, you'll be my mini me, my executive. No, we, dub. Oh. Where do you think this came from? I, I told you a long time ago that I was not feeling this energy between you. How you think this thing got sabotaged? Right here. Oh, right you here. look at that right here. That's I told you. You you represent Jersey in a bad way, man. I, I told you, I don't want nothing to do with this thing get, between you and him. It's not get, happening. No, that's why I'm throwing a monkey Lexus. wrench in that. I'm not I'm I'm throwing a monkey wrench in that. No way is that happening. No, <laughs> I'm I'm with you, chill. So for some reason that partnership it just throws off no throws no off everything. I don't know no. how but it just does. Absolutely not. I'm throwing a monkey wrench in that, and I ain't a hater, but this right here, nope. Mm -mm, not happening. <laughs> Yo, I've never seen to jealousy at his finest, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Fluid. Uh, if Trey Young gets 40 and 10 tonight, you have to buy my son a Trey Young jersey. Okay. If he shoots 40% and has anything over six turnovers, 10 is wild. We know he's not going to. Do, do, do five. Do five. Do five. five. Uh, we could do five. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't like you don't like that one. Uh, huh? That's more likely, ain't it? See, he's in five. He don't like five. that. He don't like that because you know five, that that's yeah, more yeah, yeah. likely. No, five, five turnovers is a guarantee, bro. Arms are sweating. Knees weak. Arms is heavy. <laughs> but look, no, we could do it. Hey, for the for the for the second gambling, we could do it. And I'll I'll buy your son. Uh, what, what jersey you want me to buy? A Jerry West jersey. Hold on, he's he's right he, he's right here. He's right here, uh, Mr. Fluent Jr. Um, we're making a bet on the Atlanta um, Miami game tonight. Yeah, uh, when I win the bet, Ron's gonna buy you a jersey, any jersey you want. What do you want? You can have anybody you want. You can't get a signed Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, young so, fella. Oh, you Easy. Want Jordan jersey? <laughs> Easy. I want, I want, I want you Jordan jersey, yourself, bro. but he'll hey, take he a Jerry to... West. He wants a Jordan jersey, but he'll take a Jerry West. You don't want? He's trying to bankrupt me. Oh, Kobe. Okay. He said, he said Jordan or Kobe. Jordan or Kobe. That's what he wants. What's the bet? Don't worry about the bet for now. Yeah, there you go. Kobe or Kobe, Kobe or Jordan. There you go. Mm -hmm. You're, you get to decide. Signs MJ Jesse is crazy. Damn, I want one of those too. <laughs> yeah, uh, smart kid. Oh, I, told, smart I told you my kid. Is, I told you my kid is. I told you my kid is fluent. What's the jersey you want? Sign Jordan. <laughs> oh, oh, got that type of pull, but I know somebody that might. Hello, Dale. In effect, in hey, effect, you you good. showed up at the perfect time. I need to know your take on the Miami Heat versus Atlanta Hawks game tonight. Can't your hear mic, you, your mic is muted. Your mic is muted. Can't hear you, Dale. Miami's going to win. In what type of fashion? That's it. Uh, yeah, it don't matter what fashion they're going to win. Boston should be scared of Miami in my eyes, but that's just me. I'm not. I'm just going to wait till they win this game before I, before I go on that rant. Okay, no doubt, no doubt. How you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm I'm a little annoyed with you guys, so I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. You want to wait for that one too, or do you? Is I don't it, know. You, I don't know. Just whatever. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I say BS today. I'm gonna just go off. Uh -huh. I, I, I like that. You know. You know who Dell is right now. Dell, the one that's walking into practice, starting to fight. That's who Dell is. I like that. I'm Chris. That's, what, that's what I. That's who Dell is. Dell is the one walking into practice, starting to fight. Okay. Dell. Dell. Dell is you if you were playing with Jimmy Butler. Yeah, I'm walking into practice. I'm walking into practice. Talking about, but that's another question. What's what's the Warriors series? What you got going on there? How you feel about that one? 
Who you asking? You know, hey, exactly. hey, Kings, hey, Kings, and, Kings and six. Kings and six? Okay. Kings and six. So the Kings are winning game six in <clears throat> San Francisco. Yep. Kings and nice. six, man. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I told, hey, Fulham tried to tell me we was going, we was about to get swept. No, you guys are not getting swept. It's crazy. I told, I told him we get swept. I'm walking from go, from go to one center to Trace Center and back. I'm a stream. You better day. get some comfy. You better get some comfy shoes, Ox. Some Pumas. Nah, you got to get them New Balances. <laughs> what is going on right now? I don't know. Me Super neither, Miles. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Hobbs said Lakers versus Timberwolves. I believe the T Wolves get it done in a close ball game and and cat 55 plus points between the both of them. They get the win tonight. I've, I've, never, real, I've, real, I've real. never seen Cat show up in the game. Real, hey, Dale, Dale, what you Dale, you, you got us? Do we, do we got any action? What you mean? Against the Warriors. Oh, I, I think I think you guys losing six, actually. Okay. Yeah, I I want to. I'm sad Sacramento had to go against the Warriors, but like I'm because they had a great year. <clears throat> and then if another team comes about next year and do the same surprise thing, they're gonna say, "Oh, it doesn't count." But you guys had a great year, and the first round exit is gonna just damper that. <clears throat> that would suck. That would definitely suck. You know what I'm saying? Like, what three seed in the West in like home court versus the Dubs? It might get ugly. <laughs> I, 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 you, if you ask, if you ask me, this best case scenario for us, we got, we got, we got some points to prove. You know, most, you know, I'm gonna tell you like this: thirty percent of Warriors fans were Kings fans until about two thousand and nine, two thousand ten. And they it's just bad for Steph Curry's legacy if he get loses in the first round. I was oh, just thinking. Of, I was just thinking or, about that too. Actually. If he gets swept, if he gets swept, hell yeah. Or is this, or is this cemented? His legacy is already cemented. His legacy is cemented by last year's uh, finals uh, run. So it's nothing, cemented. nothing could mess up. Okay. So if he loses in the first round, now it's like screw it. Last season, it, it won't be. Crazy. It was it'd be no blame to him. Wiggins yeah. issues. Draymond nope. punching in the face. It'll be all of that. It people wouldn't. Be, people wouldn't blame him. They wouldn't blame well, him. He wouldn't be okay. Okay. If he plays terribly, he should be blamed. Uh, I still boy. think people. I, love Steph. I still think that's people cool. will just because cool. people cool. people will be like, you know what? He still proved he could get it done without KD. He proved that he didn't have to do it with injuries in 2015. He already validated himself. So yeah, that's true. Because when Kobe got swept in 2011 after winning back to back championship, it's never really brought up. Yeah, like, that's true. <laughs> so it's cool. Next super chat from Zay Rich. He says, "Sup, panel." Which player or players do you guys think will have a breakout playoff run? Hold on. I want to make sure that I'm getting this correct. Rewind. So Steph Curry wins the NBA championship, and the next year he gets bounced by a team that hadn't been in the playoffs in 16 years. And he also was responsible for the largest collapse in NBA history in the NBA finals. But we're not going to talk about this dude at all if they lose in the first round. Is that what I'm understanding? Yep. I hear you. I hear you, chill, and I agree with you. A lot of people won't give him that type of hate. Okay, I, I just want to I just want to make sure that I'm not bugging out. Okay, anyway, what now? Yeah, that's, that's 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 a bold faced lie. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> the super chat oh, that you just had up there. I, I don't want to skip over that. What you just said, like the the breakout performance. Who? Yeah, who, I, I want to hear from everybody on on the player or players. Go go ahead, chill. You got it. Prime example, Big Ox. I think De'Aaron Fox introduces himself to the world. I think that he shows everybody that yo, I was up here in Sacramento and we were building something, and I'm not just a regular season performer. We are the real deal, and I'm gonna show everybody that we. Real deal. I think that he breaks out, and I think that he shows us a lot this playoff, this playoff series in particular. How you feeling, Bob? <clears throat> I mean, that's that's easy. You know, I, I'm definitely gonna say De'Aaron or DeMontis. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stay away from that. And I don't know. Um, you know what, Evan Mobley. Mm. Evan Mobley. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go with Evan Mobley because he's already gonna have his hands full with Julius Randle. I think if I think if he could. Not shut Julius down because that's going to be hard to do. Julius is going to get his shots up, but if he can contain Julius mm -hmm. and get and get out of get out of that first round in a like a clear fashion, and then go on to do like what I told y'all he's going to do, what they're going to do to Milwaukee, then yeah. It, would it be would it be considered a breakout if Donovan Mitchell goes goes bananas? No, no. he went bananas before in the bubble. He introduced himself to us when he played. He yeah. outplayed Russ, and I think it was was it eighteen. When he outplayed Russ, when when he was in Utah, and 18, he beat Oklahoma yeah. City, yeah, he, he he introduced us to himself back then. So I don't think this would be any sort of breakout 
You could pick his running mate, Darius Garland. That'll be a good pick. Is that who you picking? I haven't thought about it too much. I'll pick Darius Garland right now, but give me some mm-hmm. more time. Okay. Take it. What's up? Talk to us. Who you got as the breakout player? I think it's going to be a pool party, baby. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not a bad uh, That's not a bad uh, pick. Uh-huh. That's not a bad it's pick. It's going to be a pool party. You know what I'm saying? I think you're going to pool. Like I said, all the honey's going to be there. So, you know. Hey, they're going to be there. Be there. Oh, please, please, please. Hey, uh, hey Dale, salute to you, my brother. Much love. But you talk about losing in the first round of Legacy. What happens if your boy get his ass kicked by Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but let me. Let, um, we gonna get to that very soon. Very, very, very soon. Re- re- remember, Dale, you walked in and started a fight in practice. Just remember, Dale. This what you did. These, these hands work. So Listen, you know, <laughs> you walked so, in practice and you start the so, fight. So I'm gonna so answer you know. that after my breakout, and then you could just hold that question. Yeah, it's on Mars than me. Go ahead, Mars. Everyone who's in the playoffs is like already kind of like. You know who they are, like other than Darius Garland, I guess. And um, who did who did Cho say? Cho De'Aaron said, Fox. Yeah, De'Aaron Fox. Cho said, like, other than that, it's like Embiid staying healthy, like, he answer a lot of questions then. But I mean, it's not really a breakout at that point, he's just answering any <clears throat> question marks people may have. But I guess that's the best I can really do. Yeah, all right. Well, who do, who do you think exceeds their play right now? That how well, they play right the now because you didn't ask me, I got Julius Randle. I, well, it can't. I, go ahead, go ahead, Dal. I do. I, like, I think Julius oh, Randle had a terrible playoff last year, like uh, atrocious. Did they even make it? Or it was two years ago. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Years ago. Yeah, last time Knicks was in the playoffs, he was atrocious. And I feel with somebody spearheaded like Jalen Brunson, I think Julius Randle like should do some do some damage. Should do some damage. But to take a question, I don't care about that question, Ron. I'm sorry. But to take a question, he said, "What happens?" Nothing worse could happen than what happened last year. He got swept. Uh, what? No, no, what? His legacy. No, no, I'm saying his legacy. If he gets beat two in the first round two times with the teams he had, he you, you done, and he definitely done. So wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you a question. Last episode, no, but I, think, I, think, uh, I think to Dell's point, I actually agree with Dell because he got, he got swept last year. He didn't play well, and what's the likelihood that he's going to play worse and get swept this year? So it can't be worse than what happened last year. So wait a minute, whoa, 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 but, whoa, whoa, but when you when you add them both together, though, that's two first round exits. Back to back. Not only not only two first round exits. The year before that, they got swept again in the semifinals, which means we're going backwards. So this will be three straight years. They didn't years. get swept. The they, got swept. Seven. they lost in seven. They lost, they lost in seven. seven. They, they got, lost in seven. If, if I'm not mistaken, did they not get Who's swept? Mistaken? They lost in seven. They- they lost seven, in seven to the Bucks. They the lost Bucks. to the Bucks in seven. The because of a big toe. Too, too Remember too, the big toe? KD's foot was too big. It was game seven. Are we talking KD. about Milwaukee or are we talking about Denver? Milwaukee. We're talking about KD. We're talking about KD. Kevin Durant. Oh, we're talking about Kevin Durant. I thought he said Joker. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought he said Joker. I thought he was talking about Joker. I thought Ticket was talking about Joker. Were you talking about Joker? Ticket Joker? Nah, nah, he missed. No, he missed. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about Joker. I'm like, wait a minute. No, nah, I wasn't saying that. Del- I wasn't saying that Katie got swept. I'm saying that I he thought got I heard him say Joker. Like, no, I'm not saying. Well, I'm saying if he. <laughs> that was crazy. No, no, I was saying. I was saying if he. I was saying if he got beat in the first round again. Right. He's done. I mean, so Kawhi ain't got his. Okay. Kawhi ain't got his second best player. If he if he lose in the first round this time, all that fake legacy talk y'all be doing for this dude who hop from team to team to team to team to team. I mean, this dude changed more girls than God dag on the, the the Godfather man. Wait, wait, you, you, know, know, you know another thing. Uh, KD is like he's so tainted in the NBA world to the ticket world. Like he's the only player that he's he's to blame like for going to a good team. It's like oh, I'm not good enough because I went to a good team. No, like, no, no, I'm saying if you lose. No, I'm saying if you lose, if no, you no, keep now, listen, now just, just, hold on, hold on. Yes, if he lose, but they don't have Paul George. This is back to the KD regime. He's in a if he if they win in four, yeah, because Paul George wasn't there. If they lose, god damn, you lost without Paul George. He's in a lose lose until he win the championship. But and damn I, if you do, damn if you don't months ago. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. But ain't that, hold on, but ain't that, ain't that what, ain't, hold on, but but Dale, ain't that what's supposed to be with you and others to hold him to? Like being that great. Don't you guys kind of look down on the dude that continuously no, had the deck? Hold on, 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 hold on,
wait, 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 no, no, no. They already went to the finals without him. That group, that group went to the finals without him. That is not the team that went to the finals. Devin Booker, Devin Booker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Devin Booker, those main core guys went to the NBA finals without him. That's fact. That's facts. CP3, Devin Booker. Which is, is not important to that. Oh, but you're replacing him. Hold on, hold on. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. It's the same as Golden State. You're replacing, you're replacing Bridges with a player that's way better. Well, Golden State, you was replacing KD. I mean, you, you was replacing, excuse me. Uh, old boy that played with the, the uh, Kings now Harrison with a Barber. way better player, bro. Cut it out, man. Cut no, no, shit no. out, bro. Chris, Chris Paul is just much worse. You have this argument. No, I, but hold on. But Listen, come on. You Chris have Paul. this argument with the Warriors. I, I totally oh, sad, bro. Y'all sad, man. Y'all have no expectations. No, no, no. Y'all take crazy it. these dudes, man. Y'all ain't got man. y'all dudes on hold these dudes with no accountability, bro. It's sad, bro. Don't work with you can go jump on any team mid season to a fifth, sixth seed bro, team. You can go it's jump and your hold on and your and your and your ideology. You can go jump from any team you want. You could be you supposed to you you call this dude the best player in the world. Yes, jump from is. any team you want, bro. Y'all don't put no expectations on these dudes, bro. It's sad, bro. It's sad, man. Question. With Mikel Bridges and Cameron Johnson still there, do you have that Phoenix Sun team making the finals this year? They, ha they have a shot. They had a shot to get back to the finals. Stop it. Now, hold on. You Hold on. Tell me. They have a shot. They were still Listen, one of the better. They were still. Hold on. They were still, the they were still on the run. They were still on the run. Hold on. They were still on the run before KD came over there. That was right. seed or six seed. They were on a run. They started out poor in the season. Remember, they 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 climbed back up up the standings when KD went over there, bro. Bro, y'all make listen, man. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna go on mute. Y'all make so many excuses for these dudes, bro. We talk about all time greatness, bro. I wish to God that Charles Barkley had all these excuses. I wish to God. That, he, that, he's uh, making uh, that uh, hold on. Now. That Carl Malone had all these excuses. I wish Charles the guy Reggie Miller had all these excuses. excuses I wish no, AI had all these excuses. Nobody gets more excuses than the dudes y'all dudes praise, man. I don't like that shit, man. Stop praising these dudes, man. Dude, they do nothing but hop in the best team, bro. Charles Barkley went to Hakeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler. A old ass a king. A old oh, out of his. Oh, how, how, old is Chris, how old is Chris Paul? How old is Chris Paul? Listen, how old is Chris Paul? And how old is Charles? How old is Devin? Hold on. They keep players. Uh, they keep uh, players are uh, teenagers, uh, nigga. Uh, they keep uh, players. Uh, hold on. Uh, they uh, keep uh, players uh, is Devin uh, Booker uh, and the big man DeAndre Ayton. Answer Just because DeAndre Ayton looks fifty, don't mean he is. Answer me two <laughs> questions. How old was Charles Barkley was when he went to the Suns? And how old is Chris Paul and Kevin Durant now? So, Kate, so Barkley was 32 when he got on and the And Kevin Durant is 34. Also, I'm not even Kevin. talking about Chris Paul as being the Kevin best player. I'm talking about Kevin. Devin Booker. I'm talking about Devin Booker and the number one overall pick, DeAndre Ayton. Those are the uh -oh. two guys. Those are the two main guys right now in that squad. Cut okay. it out, bro. Okay. One, of is, one of them is 22 and the other one's 26. Cut it out, 25. Okay. Cut it out, bro. Listen, listen if Kevin Durant would have got traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers and, and Garland and D. Mitch were still there, you would say the deck is stacked. Yes, like, because of Kevin Durant. That's my point. <laughs> that is my point. It's stacked because he's the big fucking joker. Okay, so but those t that team already went to a finals uh, the year before last. So I don't want to hear that, bro. Ticket, is it fair to say that if Dominique Wilkins knew then what he know now, he would have stayed in Atlanta? Hey, hey, listen, here's there. the thing. Here's the thing. I'm gonna say this to y'all and Fluent, y'all, y'all. Let, let's be honest, bro. Y'all know I'm, me. I'm, 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 who uh, criticized? Uh, right. who, who criticized? Hold on, let me ask you a question. Who <laughs> criticized LeBron James and on planet Earth more than me? Nobody. But if LeBron Stay James Stay did Stay the Stay same Stay stuff that KD do, and did, and and had the same, and the people had the expectations that they'll have, bro, it would be criminal, bro. Criminal, criminal. The dude is thirty eight years old, and we cooking this dude if he don't get to the NBA Finals this year because of his squad. But KD. Who's we? Who's we? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying a general, a general consensus, a general consensus, a general consensus of people expect with the roster they have, they have, they have a seven best chance to win the championship right now. That's facts. That's not no lie. I didn't make that up. That ain't fiction. That's facts. He's right up there with KD and them with a chance to win the championship. The man is 38 years old, and we and I'm cooking him free the hard way, right? But and okay. everybody got a problem with that. But my thing is, why ain't everybody jumping out their boots when this man over here capitalized record for KD, bro? Look, 
KD has played with like 10 Hall of Famers, bro. Cut this shit out, man. It's disgusting, bro. That man ain't never that man went to that man, that man went to Brooklyn and failed. He failed, bro. Mikael yeah, yeah. Bridges and them boys won more games than him and Kyrie did together already, bro. That's sad. Damn. No, Damn. You don't have no expectations, no, 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 no. bro. You don't have no expectations, man. Listen, listen. You're, you're getting your ESPN stat wrong. It's I ain't getting those stats. I watched the game. Not that they won more games. They played more games than KD, Kyrie, and James Harden did together. Bro, now, hey, Ron, KD losing the first round, ban me from the show, Ron, because I'm telling you right now, it's going to rain hell in here. I promise y'all. I'm tearing every goddamn door down in here if KD losing the first round this year. And, Doug, and Dale, you bring your ass over here, I'm oh, rock bottom your ass, boy. Straight up. You gonna break your computer? You gonna break your computer? You cap a lot of records, nigga. No, I'm not capping nothing. You just make no yeah, sense. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I agree. If they lose to the Clippers with without thing, it's it's goddamn, Katie. You gotta win. But what your is a is if he lose or win, it's no credit from you. That is all I'm saying, and that's a fact. That is yeah, hey, hey, everybody want, who said everybody who said ages, thinking, hey, everybody in the chat who said do we, want, do we want the ages that Dell you were asking for? Or are we over that already? They yeah, yeah. Ask for the ages. Ask for the ages. Ask for the ages. Pull them up. I think Barkley was thirty. I think Barkley was thirty-six. Barkley was thirty-five. Alonzo Ball was thirty-four. Alonzo Ball was thirty-five. Alonzo Ball was thirty-five and only played forty-seven games. And Drexler, one of the three, there was thirty-five, thirty-five, and thirty-four. If you're comparing it to the Suns, their core, their core, okay. Paul is old. He's 37. Durant is old. He's 34. By, but Aiton, 24. Devin Booker, 26. So it's not like Barkley went to a Rockets team that had a 26-year-old Clyde Drexler or a 28-year-old Olajuwon. They were all 30-plus, and, and they're 35 back then. You know this. Way it was older. like 40 today. Older, like yeah, Olajuwon, older. like I said, only played 47 games. They, they weren't even... How many games KD played this year? 47. Uh, 47. Oh, okay. 47. Yeah. yeah but they, they, they were, were also, he's they were got two guys that are in their prime, like 24 right? and 26. Hey, hey, Mar, yeah. stop capping, Mar. 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 The point was, is the core, okay, with, don't Paul, with the core, which was Paul, Aiton, and, and Booker, with the exception of Paul, the other two are still very, very young. That was his point. So you can't compare it to the Rockets. No, I, I, I agree. I agree. Devin Booker and Aiden are young. They, they were with, also two years away from a championship. I agree with everything you guys are saying about the core. What I'm, y'all not giving Katie the fact that it's his present that you guys are using DeAndre Ayn as a pun right now because no one was over there saying DeAndre Ayn is this big blossoming star before Katie got there. Now they it's Katie. The finals. They already been to the finals, bro. They already been to the NBA for, and guess what? They was in the Western Conference Finals in a Game Seven and stepped from going back again. I'm just kidding. They was excuse me. They was in the semifinals. Picking up so much. Lost on our home court. Luka Doncic. The same. Are you seeing as a fifty? They got destroyed. That was disgusting. The same team y'all love so much that Kevin Durant could not join. They lost at home by fifty to Luka. Luka is Jalen Brunson, and now y'all telling me. KD let me tell you because they let went me, to the finals two years ago. Let me tell you something, Dale. Let me tell you okay. something. Everybody else in the okay. chat room keeps saying, oh, Tiki, man, used to love KD. Man, your girl used to love you until she met me, so shut the hell up. <laughs> now, back to what I said, right? Back to you, Dale. Now, check it out, Dale. Like I said before, Dale, your boy only like hopping from great team, and he <laughs> picked great team. Hold on. Y'all remember this? He wait, picked that team. Uh, yes, he uh, picked that team. Hey, look, hey, look. We're not gonna act like he just got traded there. He said, and and think about this now, Floyd. Remember when KD first asked for the trade last summer? He yeah, said he yeah, wanted to go to the Phoenix Suns. Hold on, and Listen, he, said all, players, and he said all those players. Fluent. He said all the Orlando players. Magic, he to keep. Um, OKC. This is team KD should have picked. Orlando. Um, Detroit. OKC. Who Houston, else is in the lottery? Houston. Houston. Houston, give me some other names. Nobody said it. No, no, nobody no, said but, it. But not, but not Dallas, but not Dallas. If he went to Dallas... No, hold Luka, on, let me ask you a question, Mars. What seed was the Phoenix Suns last year? Um, they were the last season. Well, why does it matter? Hold on, they you they said, know your role and shut your mouth. Well, hey, oh, uh, no, 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 Mars. Now, Mars, Mars, Mars. What was the Phoenix Suns last year? I'm going to cut you so What was the Suns last year? They were the one seed. They were the number one seed last year, right? I thought they was a two seed. Okay, now put that in your pipe and smoke it, little boy. Okay, they lost in the second round, game seven at home. So don't don't bring up seeding because the seventh seed 
Nets got swept by the Boston, and no one brings up seeding. No one. Hey, yo, That's I'm going to prove something to you. Hey, Dale. Hey, 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 Dale. Don't, don't hey, Dale. Don't I'm going to prove. I'm going to ask you one question. I'm going to leave it alone. Boston, I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to leave this alone. One more question. If Boston lost the East and the West made the finals last year. If the Nets lost to Boston last year in six Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Which number one seed made it to the finals last year? Nobody. So why are we bringing up seed? It was a free seed against the two seed. Why? What is he talking about? Did the one seed make it in 20, 2021? What? Why are you bringing yeah, up the one seed was Utah season? and Jokic and Beef can win the MVP Utah, from the regular Utah, season and have a bad hey, playoff? Hey, and, hey, fluent. and I'm gonna hey, hey, fluent. And I'm gonna tell you something, fluent and chill. I'm gonna tell y'all something. The fluent and chill show. This is the reason why all these old heads are so critical. These young cats because they have no they have no accountability, bro. Because everybody want to talk about how we making way more money than y'all. Our legacies is way better than y'all. We the ghosts. We did this, that. We did that. Bro, these dudes are able to pick their teams for the most part in their primes, picking where they want to go. Picking, bro. Listen, KD told y'all this. He told y'all last summer, I want to go to the Phoenix Suns and I want to play with Chris Paul. I want to play with DeAndre Ayton and I want to play with Devin Booker. And he said he that's what he said he wanted to go play with last year during the summertime. That's crazy, what even, bro. What was even the question, Ron? No, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. I, I, I got, we were talking about the Lakers and T-Wolves. I know what's crazy. I, I, got, I got the question, and I want to ask everybody this super chat. Go ahead. But go I'm, ahead, I'm Dale. No, go, no, okay. I'm, you know not, I'm not cutting this off. Picking and all Let's this go 12 stuff. rounds. He <laughs> was the second. He What was he before? He, he was a second seed or moved up when he got healthy with the Brooklyn Nets to the second seed before he got hurt. His last... 28 games, he in the NBA, he's like 26 and two. The hey, last so week, watch this now. Hey, Fluent, we're going to leave it like this. What's going to be the excuse now? KD have not lost a game with Phoenix, right or wrong. He undefeated, right? They've been running around here saying this. Since eight November, no. KD ain't lost a eight, game, right? Eight, eight no with mm -hmm. Phoenix. Hey, little eight Fluent. No. So, hey, little Fluent. So when you go watch WWE... Go watch the old tapes of when Stone Cold Steve Austin stepped on their heads. You watch the tape. Because I'm going to tell you something. Crazy. When Kawhi come up and Kawhi step on his boy in the next week or so, I don't want to hear Dale again for a whole month and a half, Dale. I don't want to hear from you about no KD, bro. Straight up, man. Okay, you take look that look inside look and take it. Go outside okay, perfect, somewhere, bro. Perfect. Let's take that bet, right? But if he wins, are you going to give him any credit? No. So what's the point in saying that? Forget out the first round. Exactly. That's my point. That goes back to my main point. You don't want me saying nothing if he lo if he loses, but I can't say nothing if, he if he's winning because he's doing his job. Why are we even talking? No matter what hey, he does, it. until he wears the ring, he gets no credit from Tiki. Hold on, but hold on, Dell. But Dell, isn't that partially KD's fault? He puts himself in a position where he can't win. When you go to the Warriors, hold on. When you go to the Warriors, a seventy-three and nine team, if you lose with them. You're not. You're gonna get. You're gonna get burnt if you win with them. Yeah, people are saying, yeah, of course you won. You went to a seventy-three and nine win team. He put himself in that position where he couldn't win. When now where he goes to Phoenix, I'm not gonna talk about Brooklyn. Now he goes to Phoenix, a team that two years ago, whatever, was in the final. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. With Paul Booker, Aiton, and you're right. For people that don't like KD, for people that want to say that narrative, he is putting himself in a situation where he can't win. That's part of the problem with going to a good team is that right. if you okay. win, it's expected. If you lose, it's a negative. I'm not saying it's fair. My reason is kind of where I he put himself. All your warriors slandered, but when you keep going back to okay, so so you agree with that way years ago, <laughs> woo -ki -woo. the the Bucks went to the finals two years ago and won it. They lost in the second round last year. The same team y'all praising so much without Kevin to, was at home in a game seven, and Luca solely did whatever he wanted. That I, team didn't need no help. I just I just want to know what team KD could have gone to where he I just told you the, the Pistons, the Magics, uh, the Houston no, no, Rockets. I, nah, when he was home, home, I get to you. I get to you. I get to you. I get to you. He could have took his Rudy Boo KD ass back to OKC. Notice I didn't bring up Brooklyn. Hold on, hold on. Take it. Hold on a sec. Notice I didn't bring up Brooklyn. Notice I didn't bring up Brooklyn because he went to Brooklyn to prove that he could be the guy on a championship team. He brought him and Kyrie went there and they started to build a team around them. I didn't bring them up. He 
whatever he did there was his own. What I'm saying is, when you go to a team like the Warriors, when you go to a team like Phoenix right now, you cannot compare. You know, no, stop comparing Phoenix and the Warriors, please. They're not the no, same. They're not the same. Once again, once again, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give you your team. I'm gonna give you your team. He could have went. He could have went to the Chicago Bulls. It's gonna be tough. He could have went to the Bulls. No, because he could have went there with Levine and Demar Derozan. You would have just said that. No, no, no. Because he would have went for one of those guys. He would have went for one of those guys. He would have went for one of those guys. So it would have been him and another one of those guys. So he would have went for one of those guys. He could have went over to Dallas. Then you say he has Vucevic. Then you say he has Vucevic. Who was no? No, that's what would happen. That's what would happen. Why? That's what would happen. You would have no argument with that. That's my point. Is DeAndre Ayton is basically just as bad as that. Bulls ain't got. Only, they're both not good. I would say the only teams where he's going to get this type of slander, and again, I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just telling you. The only it's, teams I think is, I think Phoenix, because they were so recently in the finals and still have a very good core, right? He couldn't go to the Bucks. Um, other than that, I'm any other if team. He went back to Golden State, people State, will try. You know what if he went where? If he went to Golden State, there. you know what happened. If he, he went, went to Golden State, Kauai, yeah, maybe, go, maybe Golden State, maybe Golden State, but that's what still team. beat their ass first round. I think, I think there's 27 other teams he could have gone to that some people might still try to say it, but they'd have no argument. They'd have no argument. Hey, fool, I'm still man, I hate to, you. I hate you. I'm still I hate to, you. Bro. Stand, stand on that floor. Stand on that floor. Stand on that floor. Stand on that floor. Don't walk the fence. Don't walk the fence. Talk about some. I might not believe it. No, say you believe it. Stand on it. You ain't scared enough. These men are not. I come here fluent, and I take these shots on every week in the comment section. Don't be afraid of these clowns. Stand on what you say. You don't respect KD. You don't respect how he move. You don't respect what he do. Say it. Say it out loud right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 I've said it a million times how I feel about KD. Everybody knows how I feel about KD. I don't. I prove it versus emotion. The people in the chat. I don't give a damn about the chat. We've proven that a million times. I don't understand this whole logic. I just don't understand this whole logic of him getting him picking whatever team he wanted to go to. He requested to go to Phoenix. That trade worked because it worked for Brooklyn. If Brooklyn, if it didn't work for Brooklyn, they wouldn't have sent him to Phoenix. Don't make it sound like he said, "Yo, I'm going to Phoenix," and if I don't go to Phoenix, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, he had, no. four, he had four years on his contract. They could have sent him to Detroit. If, if they could have sent him wherever they wanted, they sent him to Phoenix because that contract, not that contract, that trade worked for both Brooklyn and Phoenix. It wasn't do you think just that was the best? Do you think that's the best deal they could have done? That's a lot. I I do. I, to be honest with you, I think that they made out like bandits. Brooklyn did. They got the draft picks back from that James Harden and and and, and Ben Simmons fiasco. They that got they two, never should have done, yeah. Right, they got young know, players know. back, right? They got young players back in both uh, Cam Johnson and uh, Mikael Bridges, and they get to build their team like they want to. If they could have got a better deal from somebody else, they would have done that. I'm and they did enough, and they, they, they did enough to stay competitive. I think Phoenix gave up too much. So then Phoenix lost the trade then, so... What are we talking about then? Like hey, the, the, the part I don't understand. The part. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on for a second. Hold on for a second, dog. So explain why I'm lying. Take it. Go ahead. <laughs> you lying because <laughs> you know, you know, and Flo. I don't know anything. Fluid. When you say and somebody fluid, is lying, hold on, when you say somebody is lying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Let me let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. And don't say because I know. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm gonna say it right now because you know. And Fluent, though, because Fluent, he understands this part of the game, that if you trade KD where you want to trade him, that hurts them as a team because now you ain't going to be able to get free agents because they're going to say you don't treat your star players right, especially a guy like KD who fought back from injury, who came and dealt with the stuff, who did everything in their eyes the right way throughout the whole Kyrie Irving situation. So if you didn't honor KD and send him to one of the teams he didn't go to and send him to a trash team, now your team gets shit canned around the league as a team by all the agents and they don't want to work with you anymore because they deem you as unprofessional. That's why you and see all the superstars, big dog, get traded yeah. to one of the teams yeah. they want to go to. Hey, baby, right. I'm the best right. thing going, and, and you better that, believe the chill town. That, you, that, I'm big dog, you little homie. Why, that, why that, isn't it possible that, why isn't it possible that KD said, I only want to go to Phoenix, and it worked out for both? They got to send him where he wanted to go, and they got what they wanted back. Why that's doesn't that's, 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 that's also possible. That's also mm -hmm. possible, Tom. However, I'm having a difficult time with Kevin Durant being the talent that he is, that 
Phoenix is the only team that when they called, they picked up the telephone. I'm 100% confident that the other 31 teams in the league called and absolutely gave them an offer. And they just get it, they just got with Phoenix because that was the best offer that they got. This works out so think, not just for Kevin. So you think that offer was the best offer we heard from Boston? You think that was better than an offer we heard from Boston last year? That was better than an offer we heard from Boston last year? Or Jalen Brown? No, Jay, hold on. Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, uh, uh another Marcus role player in a first round pick. That's better than that? The, what they got from Phoenix? The three first yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say it one more time because Fluent can Google this. Jalen Brown. Right, Marcus Smart, a first round pick, well, and another right. role player. What they got from Phoenix is better than that. So, so let me make sure I'm getting this correct. So, Mikael Bridges, who is just as good, I think he's actually a better defender than Marcus oh, Smart. Okay. So, I, I, I think I think he's a better defender than Marcus Smart. That's number one. <laughs> Jalen Brown. So, you got Cam. You got you got your first round pick. You got I think three first round picks from Phoenix and Cam and Cam Thompson. So, let me make sure I'm getting this correct. The, the separator is Jalen Brown, who, by the way. Before the season started last year, was a playoff dropper. It wasn't like he was rolling in the playoffs before last year. His production had gone down. But you, but you, but you, but you, I don't. Is that, that, that what, is that what Boston offered, or is that what the Nets asked for? There's, no, you that's don't what Boston know. offered. But that's what Browns going crazy right now. The Nets didn't, didn't want to trade KD at that point, though. So yeah, no, no, I'm no, saying, that, no, I'm saying that's why, no, 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 Bob, that's why, that's why, that's why Jalen Brown is upset. Jalen Brown found out they tried to, they put him in a deal for KD. That's why he won out. Well, KD, 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 KD at the time was acting like a disgruntled housewife. He didn't know he had to I'm on ticket. Listen, the Celtics offer was Jalen Brown, Derek White, and a first rounder. No, it wasn't. It was Marcus Smart. The Nets rejected that offer and asked for Marcus Smart. The Boston nah, team. Marcus Smart in there, dog. And then Boston said, "What, Bell? Tell everybody no. what Boston said." No, no, no. Damn lie. It's a damn lie. Hell no. I'm getting it. Hell no. You way. said Google flew it, but I don't. No, Google be lying. Hey, Bell, you worry about getting out the first round, sucker. Oh, not even. Ticket, you the only one up here telling the truth. Ain't nobody else telling the truth. You the only one up here telling the truth. Yeah, Ticket has a different. he has a he has a different Google to everyone else. His Google is different. Yeah, yeah. Google TV. Yeah, All right, yeah, you, you, don't say, hey, Mark, you don't say another word or else I'll spike your teeth, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Right. Yo, spike you with what, though? God, we're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. Look, no. I, I need everybody outside of Dale and Ticket to answer this question. That's Who, fine. Who's more hurt with the first round exit, KD or Kawhi? KD. KD because of this reason right here. And Kawhi's, that reason right Kawhi's there. running me. KD, KD, because Paul George is Paul George is hurt. Ka yeah, Kawhi, 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 has, Kawhi has a, Kawhi has a built-in excuse because Paul George is not there. Not that it's fair, but he does. And KD, because of what happened last year, yeah. so so it's compounding. So I think KD has more to lose. You, with you, the first you, can't, round. you can't get swept in round one the year before and then get on a, on a yeah. really good team the next year and get bounced in round one again. Yeah. That doesn't. Now work, you tell no. the truth, chill, Tim. Now you telling the truth. Nah, I like to the good side, man. I, 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 I disagree with everybody. I think it's Kawhi. Shocking. All, all Georgia. What? Not. Reason being, I'm going to tell you why. Reason oh being my God. is because, no, I think, and this is why, I think KD's legacy is already sealed. I don't think it, it matters too much what KD does. KD is him. KD what? got he, he got his rings. He, he got his scoring titles, his MVPs. KD is KD. Kawhi's in question right now. Everybody would say, okay, 2014, you got it, but you weren't the best player on the team. 2019, everybody was hurt, so it was a fluke ring. W said that multiple times. Kawhi, his you did, but Ron, 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 I think that was Kawhi isn't top 75 if he doesn't win this. Hey, we don't cook him, I will. Hey, I'm gonna cook him right now, Ron. I can eat today with one question. Drop a poll right now and ask everybody if they think that KD or Steph Curry was the best player on those Warriors teams. See what you get. Everyone would say, everyone would say KD. Can we get more? Everybody gonna say Steph Curry. Hey, drop the ball, Rod. Drop the ball right now, Rod. Drop the ball. Hold on. I how guarantee you didn't say Steph Curry. How we just gonna? How we just gonna brush over? Dub, did you say that? I I asked the question. I didn't get a satisfactory what answer. What I have said, said. What I have said is. If Katie didn't get hurt, they would have lost. Yes, if all that's all I said. If Katie didn't get hurt, in your opinion, that the Warriors would have won. Even if Clay Thompson might have freaking didn't get hurt, they might have won still. So that's what I said. Clay Thompson missed a half of basketball, just so we're clear. 
Hey man, they needed him in the fourth quarter. Just so we're quarter. clear, just so we're clear. Everybody he missed hey. all of game three, and then he missed like the fourth quarter of game six. And they were just they were sending everybody. And Which means, Tone, that if he doesn't get hurt and they win that, we have a game seven, and he's not playing in Toronto. So I mean, that's the same Toronto that earlier in the year. KD went up there and put. You all love the regular season. That's the same Toronto. You all love the regular season. I do love the regular season. You know why? Because that's the same Toronto. Kevin Durant went up there and put forty-seven that season. Toronto, Toronto. Everybody healthy in the regular season. Y'all love the regular season because it works against you. So there you go. Wow, not me. I'm saying, Ron, that was crazy because 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 KD KD obviously needed Steph. Steph don't need KD. Oh my he, God! He's, he's shown that. No, you know no, how, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand this. Like, so, so, how, 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 how are we talking about? How is, he doesn't care about his legacy. He doesn't care about his legacy. How is KD's legacy still in Kawhi's is up for question? That's ridiculous. I don't, think, I don't think neither of theirs is up for question. You know how I feel about Kawhi, Bro. but I think KD has more to stand on than Kawhi does. Ron, Ron, I don't. I, I don't think so. I agree there. I think they both. I think they both. I think they both. Have a lot to prove if they want to be in that kind of top twenty, top fifteen conversation. They both have something to prove. They both have especially, something to prove. Wait, especially wait, what, what, what happened, happened last year, right now. Especially if you if you look at what happened last year. Oh, chill. Steph, Steph, Steph Curry got that championship. Doctor J is ridiculous. Hey, hey, the, 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 the chat is spoken. But look, the, look, the chat is spoken. On top of that, KD got his ass. I don't see what did they say. What are, you, what are you talking about? Who are the chats in? Who they chat? Who, who it's 51 That's a Blow. win. A win is a win. Blow. Clears. When I <laughs> beat ticket 51 49, you guys said I, I lose. Beat you. I, no, whatever, I beat you. Man. I beat you. I'm not hearing this, man. Now the 51 49 hey, hey, matters. Hey, right, hey Mars, right. I beat you, and guess what? You had the lower number. You had you had forty nine point four, and Ron rounded up for your sorry ass when he should have rounded down. Well, that's what. That's what. Put that in your pipe. Let's you know how KD was the best player on that team? How? It's now, it's now 50 50. It's now 50 50. Whenever y'all revert back to those Warriors, y'all say KD Warriors. Mm, yeah, because that's, that, we, that's that. I'm going to tell you why that's Every that. single time. Let me tell you why. Yeah. KD Warriors. Right yeah, now, let's call them Warriors. When KD was there, if Andrew Wiggins went there, why I don't call it the Andrew Wiggins Warriors? Because look, there. Look, this is why they said the KD Warriors. Because that dynasty, that, that, dynasty, that, that dynasty has been around for what? Five the leader of that team. Oh, yeah, when when, when, when he was there, they are them. It's they the KD Warriors. They call it the KD Warriors because they're talking about that specific time. And that was the change on the team. It's like when they okay. say the KD Warriors, they're saying the okay, same years. So back to back this year with Andrew Wiggins. In this time, will it be the Andrew Wiggins Warriors? No, that's that's Why? The, that's the yes, Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins isn't as big of an acquisition as hey, that's, that's the hey, hey, KD Warriors. Hey, hey Bob, don't worry, hey Bob. I'm gonna shut up Jalen Brown at the same time. Who's gonna be the blow a three one lead against him and then go join him because he couldn't beat him? That's fine. I'm gonna shut these two buffoons up at the same time. Let me ask you two chumps one question, Jalen Mars. The two musketeers. Let me ask y'all a question, right? Now, do y'all think Golden State would have won another chip if KD never went over there? They did last year. No, I asked you a question, though. I said if KD never went to the Warriors, mm -hmm. do everybody in this chat room think that the Warriors would eventually won another chip? No. If Golden State Cleveland with Kyrie, no. No. Where does, where does KD go? So hold on. So Steph Curry, hold on. So let me, right right let me get this straight right now. Let me get this straight right now. The only reason why they ever won another chip in their whole career is because KD went over there. Yes, they would have never won no more chips after that. Million. And how did they win one to like that? Don't make no about that. Won one last, last year. No, I, I brought yeah. up last year, but he said it last, last year. Oh, yeah. I thought y'all was just talking about that time. He said again. No, I said they probably went last year, but that's it. I brought up. No, I said no. But you admitted they would have won another chip. Old dynamic changes. They lose back to back to LeBron James. I promise you. And KD still never has a ring. And, and we got to blow that unit up. No, and don't they? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Bobby. Showtime, Showtime, just there. Hold on, hold on, Showtime, just brought up. They do something else. They add someone else. Good point. Showtime brought up a good point. Go ahead, Because if they don't, if they're not winning, 
the unit's not staying together like that. They they're not. They're that. not staying together. Yo, oh, you know, they're they're not staying together. They're not staying together. They are not blowing up. You guys are not. They are not blowing up a 73 and 9 win unit that went seven games in the NBA Finals. You guys are not. Are you guys? Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm so, Dub, one, give me one second, Dub. Am I listening to the same guy who's telling me that they're not blowing up a 73 and 9 unit when I watch Jerry Krause break up a team that won the NBA championship six times in eight years? And three you times in a row. Psychopath. He didn't break up about? the 72 and 10 because they didn't lose. You're right. He just broke up the 72 and 10 he didn't break him up. What are you he talking about? One person and then everybody left. He refused to sign a guy he did not like. The that coach. All the breaking not, up the you, unit that's, tone. But that's not the Warriors. You're gonna compare, you're gonna compare the Warriors upper management to Jerry Krause and Jerry Reinsdorf. So, so, let, so let's make sure that, breaking yes, them up. Let, just compare so let, and breaking them up. That's what we're doing. We're comparing, breaking them up, first of all. Number two, since we're on the subject of hypotheticals, that team loses three to one. After, that team loses after being up three to one. And then the next year, the, 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 the Cavs beat them again. We're not close. What unit we have, we're not close. And we got to blow this That's thing up. That's not what we're talking about. We said they break them up at 73 and 9. If if KD doesn't Nobody join that. Up. No, he said Nobody he broke them up if they lose again. Didn't Draymond Green out his mouth said? He did say that, Dale. He did say that, Dale. But didn't Draymond Green out his mouth? Didn't Draymond Green out his mouth say that we didn't need to be one without you? Didn't Draymond Green out his mouth tell KD we won without you? He did say and then that. we won. We, we won again. Draymond Green off the seventy three and nine team is the greatest. Draymond Green. Green. This all started because we were talking about. This all started because we're talking about the Warriors winning a ring after twenty fifteen without KD. And right. one of the points y'all brought up was twenty twenty two. What we are saying is we don't see them winning after KD. So therefore, the team isn't going to be there in twenty twenty two. That's how this conversation started. There's no again, this is why I hate hypotheticals because there's no way of knowing. Because if they don't sign KD, what do they do? They sign somebody else and then maybe they win. You don't know. Maybe instead of KD, LeBum James goes and joins them. You don't know. Why would he, why, 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 why would he join oh, them? He's, 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 he's a ring chaser. That's why they keep oh. Harrison Bones. Oh. All right, fellas, let, let's go ahead and keep it pushing along. That was for you to get. Preach the truth, Lord. Preach the truth. It comes out when you're drunk. <laughs> Matt Seeper said, Giannis playing 63 games this season, but clearly deserving of the MVP nods. Makes me rethink if 65 game minimum is good. Feels like an arbitrary number. I said he was oh, it's, it's a great number. You, should, you, yeah, know what, you know what? He should have played two more games. Had, had it been in place, he would have played two more games. And there were two yeah, games yeah. that some kids could have saw him play. Some premier matchups he should have been into. Absolutely good. I love it. They should make it. And check it out. Check, and check this out too. That means that Dale, your boy, get ready to get iced out because he, he ain't fit to get no more awards for the rest of his career, sucker. And I love it because his ass, yeah, he, we already know he goes out here getting the awards, trying to play the minimum of fifty-five games. Now he got to get to sixty-five. Now all that all-time legacy, stacking up awards and stuff. For part-time work is out of the door, baby. Hades' legacy it. isn't dependent on the All NBA teams. He's made enough. Oh yes, it is. Oh yes, it is. It's dependent fine. on Steph Curry, Marshall. More, it's dependent on Steph Curry. That's fine, but no yeah. one's moving him up because yeah. he makes All NBA teams. No one's doing that. Doesn't fit the load management protocol though. KD plays every time he's no, no, not here. No, no, you're not hearing what I'm saying. You're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm saying. That if he don't get his skinny little ass out there for 65 games, <laughs> no more all NBA. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like KD be resting because he wants his big toe. Like, come no, on. Take it. Take no, no, no. Here's the thing, though. Take it. Take it. Take it. The one thing I'll give KD credit for, KD loves playing basketball. When he's he healthy, knows. he will play. I love that about him. I love that about him. Absolutely. And Ticket, and, and Ticket Absolutely. laughing, yeah, Draymond yeah, Green brought up that's Draymond. That's why Brooklyn traded him to the Phoenix Suns because he's professional, like you said, and does what he wants to the thing. He proved up. He showed up. This is your words, not mine. You just gave hey, him well, all that credit. Hey, just hey, Dale, I give you, about hey, Dale. Hey, games. Dale, I give you that, Dale. But if he was professional, he wouldn't have traded all those guys he did when he went to Brooklyn when he had a championship roster off the jump Listen. and when it got James Harden. Going back to the that, 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 that was terrible. That wasn't his fault, but that was terrible. <sighs> This is what I'm talking about when we talk he about he could have foreseen them getting hurt. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm and not only that, it, not, not only that, this is what we're talking about when we're talking about lying. That wasn't KD ticket. That was that not was KD. Kiwi. That was Kiwi. What? Kiwi made those trades. If you don't know who Kiwi is, go 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 Google that shit. You don't know basketball. 
Oh, damn. Uh, sorry, Chill Town. Yeah, Once again, you lying. You need to repent for them sins. You can Google this. <laughs> They were playing. They were playing basketball together that entire summer and planned it. That's why James Harden came out of shape, and that's why they planned that whole thing. I'm not lying. You can Google it. They was in Kona. They was in Cali the whole summer working out. Chill Town. They had him, Kyrie, and Katie had already planned what they was gonna do. That's why James Harden already knew he was gonna get over there. This is the same. This is the same, is the same Kyrie Irving and the same KD. John, this is the same time it's not true. James said we are so more civilized at noon. Man. In my first destination when he got to Philly. Hiccups in the road. With That's the not true. That was a lie. James Harden lie all the time. But like I said, I know the, the truth. The truth was James Kyrie and the Katie truth was, was the right. truth was they was working out. They was working out in California all summer together. Y'all can ask any of the hoopers that's out there, Dale. You know a lot true. of that. That's not true. true. They were, that's that not is true. true. They were they were Kevin working Durant, out together in Cali. You, you can't tell me that they was working out together. You can't tell so me that they was working out so, together. So, so, and then turn around and tell me. Not only did it arrive out of shape, not only did it arrive out of shape, Mars. Kevin Durant said, "Quote: I couldn't believe how out of shape he was." That wouldn't be the first time Kevin break. Durant lied. And let me tell you what happened, sir. They worked out together early that summer. And what happened was is James Harden made an excuse. And if you know anything about basketball, Chill Town, if you don't work out for three weeks, don't. you can Which put on hold on. You can put on 15 pounds if you ain't working out and doing them for three no weeks. No way. James Are you putting on 15 yes, you can. pounds? No, you yes, can't. You if no, you can't. James Harden looked like he had a fat chill. Okay. Chill town. I want you to go eat junk food for three weeks right now and not work out. So, You'll gain so, so 10 think to 15 about that for a second. As a pro basketball player who this is my job, right before the season starts, I am going to do nothing for almost a month. I'm not going to get shots up. I'm not going to go running. I'm not going to go work out. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to smoke. I'm going to drink and I'm going to eat ice cream for a month. Is that you what you're trying to tell me? I do want to say this. Just you like could like gain 15 is. pounds like that. You hey, just hey, 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 He's, I agree oh, with that. Tell, tell, tell about, about. James Harden. James Harden spent a hundred thousand dollars on honey buns for little baby. Google See, that, sucker. You think I'm lying? You think I'm lying? You think I'm lying? That's why. Hey, that's why we call them cheesecake over teammates. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he's in Philly. Anyway, Ron, okay. as you were saying, Go ahead, Ron. Uh, all right, all right. Chill Town actually have back to back super chats for you strictly. Jimmy Two Shoes said, Chill Town, LeBron is the best shooter of all time. <laughs> but wait, but wait, there's more. 13200 said, If LeBron wins this year, he still ain't the GOAT. On the court, all he did better than MJ was pass and rebound. And for the production guy, Chill, MV, MJ produced more in less time. LeBron will forever be number two. And let's be clear, defensive rebound, because he didn't out offensive rebound him. I don't even know if he's a bad rebounder, to be honest, but based on position, it's questionable. Based on position. Yeah, because different positions have average more rebounds per game. Jimmy oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I you. Yeah, I hear that. All right, fellas. Uh we got the first super chat in for one of the worst takes of the year. Um a retro anan said. Dub saying prime wall was better than current Harden blasphemous. I still that's an easy take. That's an easy take. I still, I, don't I still don't understand how that is blasphemous. This is just a the, it's just wrong. I wouldn't say it's blasphemous. It's, it's but just wrong. It's, it's just the the Harden nostalgia that people have. If you what watch is prime, prime nostalgia? Wall. He's playing yeah, this yeah. season though. What do you mean yeah, yeah, nostalgia? it's the nostalgia, bro. It's what is nostalgia. prime wall? What is prime 20 wall? 20 and 10. 20 and 10. The so prime we, wall is 20 and 10. No, he had a five, he had a five year stretch where he was 20 so, and 10. Okay. Right so, now. So, so, what we're saying is wall at his absolute best versus yes. James Harden this year? Yes. Who, who's also 20 and 10. Oh, come on. That's I just easy. Take, I just bro. Like, that's Boston. easy, bro. He's a I'm better shooter. That's it. With James he's, he's just a bad player. Year. Yeah, he's just a bad player. He's just a better shooter. Uh, okay. And that helps yeah. him as a player. It does help. How can how can what we're yeah, yeah, seeing this year be nostalgia? But Wall is significantly just, better. Y'all haven't, y'all haven't been seeing him get locked up. Way better than missing all those games. Dub. I'm missing all the if games. If anyone's no, arguing for nostalgia, it's you, Dub. No, like, you guys are. No, 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 no. You guys, you. you guys, for some reason, y'all not watching him get locked up by bench players. That he can't even get by bench players, bro. Him getting locked up by Zubak or Marcus Moore's. 
For some reason, <laughs> nobody's seeing that but me. But it's cool. The playoffs will show. Bro, bro, this I, this, I, this bro, really, I don't think you knew when this, 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 this really shouldn't be a time. conversation, bro. This really shouldn't be a conversation. For real. That's crazy. I so, mean, I mean, if you go prime harding, if you go, you go prime harding, okay. I, well, I can see that. Okay. But this harding, this season, to 2016-17 John Wall, y'all got to stop, bro. And I think what Dub, what Dub means by the nostalgia, correct me if I'm wrong, Dub, I think y'all still think that this is the James Harden from those Houston days, and it's no. not the same James Harden. No, I like no. I, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Maybe it's not prime, nostalgia. Prime, prime, prime. It's name value. Name value. <laughs> there you go. Okay, name, name value makes there sense. There we go. Name name value. I don't name think value. it's the same. I literally just think this James Harden is just better than prime John Wall. I really do. Thank this you. version of him. Yep. Right now, today, it's, it's, it's nothing wrong with being wrong, fam. I think oh, last, I think last year James Harden. I think you could say John was better than him, but this year, no. Like, ju- like, like what's I'm, the, what? I James mean, what's James, the, James, Harden, was, the, the, James the Harden was clearly the, hampered by his hamstring last year, and that was clear to see. Okay, and well, he's not, still not, not able to get. He's still, not but he's able still to, much better than he was last year. But he still well, doesn't and, have the same explosiveness. As he doesn't he need to have the same explosiveness to be better than John Wall. No, no, watch this, watch this. Let me ask you a question, John Wall. Wait, hold on, hold on, John Wall, a guy. Who at the same same time he's beating his defender more, he's getting by his defender yeah. more, he's yeah. a better finisher. I think yeah. that James Harden is a better shooter and mid range shooter, 100%. Yeah. The passing and playmaking, and playmaking yeah. listen, that's James up for debate. That's oh, up for Jesus. debate. Ask a quick question, that's up for though. debate. That's Prime good. John Wall was his offense shaken up by any a Joel Embiid type person? Shaken up, what do you mean by shaken up? Like. Prime John Wall. He Did he have to take a back seat to any? Did he like... ever take a back seat, or he could have just freely be himself? He could have be himself. This James Harden is averaging twenty and eleven with mm-hmm. Embiid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Dub saying it may, Embiid if, makes it easier for if him. If Embiid, if Embiid isn't, if Embiid isn't there, bro, James Harden isn't going to be this crazy 26, 27. Do you know what? Do you know what James Harden's doing about Embiid? Who player James Harden could still average? What's, they, what's he? What's he been doing that towards the end of the season, Mars? I was talking about the whole year, not the end of the season. I mean, the whole year. Right, what's he been Achilles doing? Injury, what's he been doing? What's he been doing without Joel Embiid? I, I, the Philly I, I, offense has been fantastic, and he's been scoring ha- at a much higher. We're really, rate we're really having a wall. What's, 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 oh, what's James? What's James Harden? What's James Harden doing? Uh, oh, the okay, super I, chat. I'll, pull, oh, I'll okay. pull up some. Oh, was it? Oh, 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 my bad. It was a super chat. Sorry, Jay. Sorry, Jay. Keep me, keep me, keep me, keep me focused. Focused, though. Because I'm the one who thought we were talking about Joker when we were talking about KD. We are, we are going to keep it pushing, though. We have the second. Bad oh. take of the year. Ron said the Hawks are content with the Luca trade. Mm, you did Luka's say that. at home. No, that's not what you said. Play. No, 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 no. You oh, said no, you said Atlanta got the better part of that deal, yes, and you, you do it again. In I, fact, I was I was the one who had the, I had the fish pole, and I was trying to uh, reel you back in because you was bro. way out the, on the other end of the dock. I remember you that, said you do it again. I, I was trying to get I was trying to get <laughs> you back in, brother. All I'm saying is tracing the play and Lucas at home. Oh, yeah. right. uh, it's because they did it on purpose. Huh? Timothy Hobbs said, "Chilltown not having Kobe in his top ten is the worst take in players' choice history. Just blasphemy. Kobe not in the top ten is insane." I, I gotta I gotta ask you guys a question. Please, please, please don't turn this into a debate between anybody. I want to. The question is about why, not about who. The question is not about who. It's about why. So, because I just saw a thing about Kawhi saying, "How can you compare LeBron to Jordan?" Because you should be comparing LeBron and Kobe. That's the bigger conversation. So, my question is: Here's my question. I'm glad this came up. My question is: How? Why? Forget the media for a second. Why do so many players? And ex players make the conversation Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, but like everybody else has already forgotten, and it's like it's LeBron or Jordan. Why do all the like superstar players always put Kobe into that conversation, and we don't? That's easy. Media doesn't. That's, that's easy. We didn't, we didn't, like, why do we do? Why do they do that? We saw because because four, we I'm saw Kobe, we saw Kobe days. Bryant. We saw Kobe with the ball head, then the afro, then the ball head again. Them dudes seen Kobe Bryant only at the end. A lot of these dudes only saw Kobe Bryant towards the end of his career. They didn't get the experience towards when he when he grew up with the with the ball head, came in the league, and then had the afro. See, if they seen afro Kobe that was in the finals, in the playoffs, doing all these big things and balling out, then their opinion would be different. We got to see the whole thing, and then we got to see LeBron's whole thing. So, and we got to see a lot of Jordans. Most of us, some of you guys saw the whole Jordan thing. Some of us saw the main part where he was winning all the championships, going to the NBA finals. 
You understand what I'm saying? Some of them cats never seen Jordan, and they just put LeBron in that debate. We got to remember, That's some true. of these dudes you talk about, 24, 25 years old, that's debating and stuff, man, they ain't see Kobe Bryant play. Kobe Bryant's also, not the league right now for, what, six years, seven years? They didn't get to also, see Kobe play. They were kids. Go ahead. Also, Fluent, I think it's uh, the lack of funding in public school education system. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not only that, like in some some places, I realized like they didn't have the dare program. You know what I'm saying? We had the dare program, so you know what I'm saying. Like, what's the dare program? Stop it! Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! You know what I'm, so I'm saying? Like, for, Del, for Del, that, you said something, and I didn't, I didn't hear it. Uh, you said they, so I said how many days? One days or many days? It's for it's, which part? Both is many days. Both is uh, many uh, days. Yeah, because I I just whenever I hear that word, I just go back to Dave Chappelle and I always ask that question. <laughs> Many <laughs> days on both. Yeah. Many days. Okay. Now, uh, Ron, real quick, just What's just up? to clarify for everybody, the games where James Harden played without Joel Embiid, he's twenty and nine on forty from the field and thirty five from three. You can play without um. You know how staggered lineups work. Though? Mm. Like Embiid can be off the court and then James Harden is on the court. That's also playing without the, Embiid. No, just no, no. Here. No, that's no, why I, that's why I was looking for because okay. using games. About I mean them. that matters. I that's that's no, I I agree. I agree. Because Dell because Dell brought up Dell brought up a point of James Harden playing without Joel Embiid. Yeah, but you can also play without him when he's just not on the floor. That's what I was looking for. But I seven games only have twenty and forty. The more important fact is the more important fact, and that Stephen A. Snitch. If you're watching this, you lied today on national TV. You guys lied about the Harden and them's record. Without Embiid, Harden them have a sixty-seven percent winning percentage this year without Joel Embiid. They're eleven and five. Yeah, Giannis better, and the Bucks have fifty-seven percent winning percentage without Giannis. Fifty-seven to sixty to sixty-seven. You do the math. That's ten whole percent up that they filled, filled every seven years. So we had that argument the other day when I told you guys that I thought that Philly's role players were better than the, the Bucks. That was proven on 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 facts. That's factual. The Buck the, the Bucks are eleven and eight without Giannis. Philly's eleven and five without Embiid. I don't. Okay. No. Um. To the to the Kobe thing, I think um I think NBA yes. players just value. Yes. Yeah, what's things your topic? No, this is the topic. Let him focus. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I think I think I think NBA players just value different things to like what us or analysts or whatever they value. I think when you talk to NBA players, they're very high on skill and like the mental toughness it takes to be in the NBA, which is completely valid. And I think Kobe is probably the most skilled player of all time. So when you hear NBA players put Kobe in the top two, top three. It's from that standpoint. There's nothing Kobe couldn't do on a basketball court. If you needed him to operate out of the post, he could do it. If you needed him to kill you in the mid-range, he could do it. Pull up freeze, he could do it. Get to the rim, he could do it. Plus the mentality, there was no question. So I think what they say is correct. It's just they value different things, which is what leads to them having Kobe held in a higher regard than like what analysts or what Chill Town or what I or what anyone believes. I think that's the difference. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. All right. Next super chat. Back to back from Timothy Hobbs. He said, my top 10. MJ, LeBron, Kareem, Magic, Tim Duncan, Kobe, Shaq, Larry Legend, Hakeem, and Wilt. Wilt's recently come out of my top 10, but I think it's a nice top 10. It's good. All right. K Spiffy with the super chat. I'm not going to say that first part because I'm not going to pause it. But he said, I got the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. Ticket TV. Yeah, that was before the trade. That was when they had when they still had Russell Westbrook, a dude that is going to the Western Conference Finals. Why you ain't say Dick yeah. it, DV? <laughs> bro, them dudes be on my. Hey, bro, these dudes be on my. You know what, man? You, 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 you take it like that? Yeah. Nah, I gotta come bro, up. Bro, my man, they, they Dell, Dell. You know how take I, it. I go, I'm dog. Jealous of that hate. I'm jealous of that hate, bro. I'm jealous of that hate. I need. When you start that getting big time. You start getting <laughs> trolls <laughs> like trolls <laughs> around, like Chill Town guy. You know what I'm saying? They start trolling. Yo, that's kind. I, I, and to be honest, you know they had a ticket for y'all to see that name. Go ahead, ticket. Dell, oh. Dell. They had a fake chill. They had a fake chill coming to my channel the other night, talking just like chill. Like he he got the whole <laughs> words of chill say all down. Like I was thinking this was chill, for and I went back and looked at the chat. He ain't had no rent, so it wasn't chill. I was like, Dad, it got me. He got me. Right. And and you and ticket. You know me. Whenever I say, whenever I leave, I'll, I'll put up the deuces and I go, all right, all right, brother. I, I I'll right. catch you later. They, Something they, like yo, that. We did the same thing. Hey, the camera was the same thing. <laughs> No, they no. He came in the chat with they stole Chill's avatar and they going from channel to channel trolling like it's Chill. But in my channel, Chill got a wrench, but you can't see it when you're in Streamyard. You can't see if somebody got a wrench or not. So I'm right. thinking it's Chill because Chill always pull up to my channel talking little stuff in the comment section. 
But this dude yeah. was talking exactly how Chill talked. That, that's how they troll you when you start getting a lot of subs. They'll do that stupid stuff. Jay, do you remember? Jay, do you remember chill that episode? We had a we had a fluid and chill episode, and there was a fake ticket, and then the fake ticket left, and real ticket came in, and then I I, I blocked the real ticket, right? Because you can't tell the difference, yeah. right? So right. Good. I was like, what? That's what I got. This is, I did the same thing with ticket. Ticket showed up to one of my lives, and I and, and, and I blocked them, and then Damn ticket was like, yeah, I ended up blocking them. Yeah, it was, it was it, it's wild. It's really wild out here. All right, fellas, let's keep it pushing. My man, drink more water, always tapping in with the super chats. He said Dub wants Milwaukee, but is praying for another sweep. Giannis guarded Jimmy the most out of everybody with 21 minutes and 55 seconds in 2021. He shot three for 16. I don't know how he's considered a bad on-ball defender. Jimmy, uh, what, Jimmy Butler? No, no Giannis. Giannis. Um, Giannis is a good on-ball defender when he guards non-shooters. Because if a Jimmy Butler gets a ball screen, you just go under the screen. Giannis at 6'11 struggles to get around and over screens. That's why he struggles to guard deep ball threats. That's why Jimmy Butler isn't really a problem. Jimmy Butler's trying to get downhill. It just makes life easier for Giannis. So that's a, just a good matchup for him. And um, James Harden um, averages 26 points per 75, 11 assists on 59 true shooting without Joel Embiid. Sounds, yeah, the sounds, seven. Sounds, the, sounds pretty good. Nah, the seven. The seven games is more accurate without Joel Embiid. Uh, yeah, yeah, twenty yeah. and nine. Yeah, course, twenty and nine without yeah. Embiid, bro. Come on, yeah, of, of course. Come on, that. Twenty yes, and nine. Fine. Come on, Mars. You mm-hmm. said per seventy-five too. I mean, yeah, because you need to adjust for possessions, which common sense is what you would do. But I mean, yeah, it's fine. I, we can go back to. Come on, man. That's a nasty. Can, that's yeah, a nasty. Can, that's a nasty back. step, then. Nasty. Mm-hmm. Step, but when you was arguing Hakeem versus Kareem, you was quick to go to per hundred possessions, and that was a valid argument. But then. Now per seventy five, it means nothing because it goes in the dark. Because it's fine. It's fine. Dub. Dub. It's fine. No, 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 Mars. It really really don't mean anything. It don't mean anything. It really doesn't. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Per seventy five. Come on, Mars. You could do better. I never told me in the chat. What is Mars' true age? I'm I'm six. I'm fourteen. I'm nineteen. I'm twenty five. Last I checked, Mars was born in two thousand fourteen. That was the last I heard. I don't know. I, I, I was I was born the day I was born the day KD joined the Warriors and just was born a Warriors. I, I would say that nah, I would say that this. I bet you a bunch of people think Mars is in his teens, but he's in his twenties. He just looks young. No, I think Mars is eighteen, right? Nah, sure. nah. See, nah. I listen. It's it's dark and rainy. It's moisture out there in the UK, so the skin nah, looks. Young. I, I just I just look after my skin. Yeah, yeah, and the, and the tea keeps him looking young. I'm telling, that's why he's vo- the, the most common. The most common answer in the chat is 19, so we'll run with that. I'm going. I'm going with like 23, and uh, the oh, tea you, and the tea. You just think about it. If you don't drink tea, look at low. A bad throat got low out for weeks. Mark, could you tell me an hour? Hey, yo, Mars, could you tell me an hour? Chat? <laughs> no, 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 I'm I'm 19 years old. Oh, okay. There you go. I was born. Yeah, in two, I, was born I was born in 2004. <laughs> There you go. Everyone knows. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> let's keep it pushing. <laughs> Shane Howard said, "What's up, fellas? Question: Where does Paul Pierce rank in the most clutch players all time?" I don't have a list for that. Could we put that super chat back up? I didn't see it. Paul is he in the lower part? Clutchness. Is he in the lower part of the top ten? I don't even know if he's in the top ten. No, I mean, he's not in the top. He's 10. not in the top you know ten. Paul Pierce is top not 10? a top ten clutch player. Who's more clutch than Paul no. Pierce? Who's more? I clutch mean, than if you're gonna go for our history, you're gonna have at least ten guys like Jerry West, Bill Russell, LeBron, uh, Kobe, MJ. Um, Bill well, Russell? I'm all right, I don't even know. How's yeah, Bill Mars, Russell not clutch? How is? Oh, I'm not doing. I'm not doing. I don't know. Okay, Paul Pierce is top ten. Paul Pierce is top ten. I'm not about to argue if Bill Russell is clutch or not. I'm not doing that. So well. Scotty Pippen, um, Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade, uh, Reggie Miller. Are we Reggie talking about Miller. how they performed in the clutch? Or I got one shot on the line. Who am I giving the ball to? Make up That's your own. They're, they're completely two different questions. A clutch player is how well you play in the clutch, yeah. not making a shot. Right. That's that, that's it. And Paul Pierce, when I think about clutch players, he's he's not one of the ten guys that that comes to mind when I think about a clutch player. Well, James ain't one either when it comes to my mind. Yeah, that's fine. He'd, he'd, be, he'd be over Paul Pierce. Yes, he would. He's over Paul Pierce, yeah. ASAP Don is correct. I was born the day before my first PC episode. I was just born for this. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it was. I was born for this. Tim Duncan is more clutched than Paul Pierce, yeah. Yes, he is. 
the truth is OD clutch. <laughs> oh, no, no. Paul Pierce is for sure clutch. I'm not questioning that. I just don't know if he was top 10. And that's what I was saying. I don't have a list for it. I just don't know if he's top 10. Right. What percent? What percent? I think what where's the stat I hear all the time? Going game winners in the playoffs, he's like he has the most ever or something. Yeah, right. Yes. And he shoots so like that. that. I think oh, was he like on. five he's five for eleven or something. Yeah. Like yeah. Which is yeah. I, I love how I love how we I love how we applaud that. I'd rather be up 10 and not have to worry about it, but you know, whatever. I was up 10, Tone, you goofball. I'd rather be up 10. Who's doing that, Tone? Who's blowing out everybody in the playoffs, Tone? I know you got to blow out everybody out in the playoffs, Tone. If you're that guy, that's what if you're I'm that talking guy. about. I'm sick of hearing that goofy ass logic from him. Like, it's always every team that they playing, they just blowing them out in the playoffs. No, they're not. I'd rather be up 10. You want it close? Keep it close. I'd rather be up 10. I don't know why that upsets you. I'd rather be up 10. Who have you seen in the playoffs that was up 10 regularly? I'll get a load of Google it for you. I'll send you a list. Oh. <laughs> That's why you're called a clutch player. I'm because just we, saying. When, when we get into the meat and potatoes of games, guys make big plays. Not team, you're not going to be a clutch player when your team is blowing everybody out on the regular. No. Magic Johnson is more clutch than Paul Pierce. Yes, he is. I was going to say that too. Um, so did we not say him? I thought we said Magic. So is Larry yeah. Bird. Um, Isaiah Thomas is probably more clutch than Paul Pierce. Yeah. He's not top 10. So, yeah. All right. Next super chat from 13200. He said, which media analyst would you rather get into a debate with? Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, Nick Wright, Kendrick Perkins, Colin Coward, or Trey – Colin Coward, Trey Young will never be a Nick. We don't want him or Zion. I don't really want to debate any of them. They would kind None of them. Of them. None, None of them. them. None of them. I would say of the of the bunch, geez, if you can believe it, Stephen A is probably the most reasonable. I would debate Nick Wright only one topic. Whenever he yells and say people think Jordan career began. Like he said six years. Was six when years. He said, yeah. When he say everybody went on a Michael Jordan watch, like and then starts using Tim Duncan and O3. Like, okay. And started using the weirdest yeah. thing because so you're counting Larry Bird and Michael Jordan as a rookie as his watch. No, you're so stop saying that. Like, stop 1988 wasn't Michael Jordan watch at all. It wasn't. Yes, he was MVP, but it wasn't his watch. Like hey, Ron, that. your that, watch begins when you have the ring. Yeah, your watch begins when you first win. That's how. Exactly. That's how it's like. Which means like, that in night. Which means that in nineteen ninety one, the only guy who won, the only guy who you could argue won on his watch was Hakeem. But and even then, he didn't that, play. Yeah, yeah. That's well, a full season. He was. Yeah, he only walking, played. He only played. That's like, why I tell. Years. I say this. This is why Jordan is held in such high regard. It's called ascension. He starts here. He goes up, becomes champ, and then there's a blip there. But he never plays a full season without being a champ. After he becomes a champ, that's the 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 love affair with Jordan is because. He never has a full season with exception of Washington. Okay, fine, Washington. And this is what uh, I'm like, people really forget the Washington years, which is the craziest thing. Yeah, you shouldn't forget the Washington years. I think, I think the Washington yeah. years are a good thing for him. He's 40 playing very well. Like, he wasn't elite anymore, but he was, he was averaging 20. Well. I think he was averaging 22 a game at 40 years. And, and, and let's be honest. And I know I, this is going to be on the worst take uh, thing here, Ron, even though it's the most accurate one. Oh, he man. came back to sell tickets. Period. <laughs> It's a business. Yeah. It is a business. They were 27th in attendance. He show, he comes back, and they're second in attendance for two years, and the value of the team shoots because how do you get your share of TV revenue with the attendance? It had nothing but money. And, 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 and don't, leave, don't, don't leave out, Tone. The NBA a little bit, too. Well, don't leave out also, Tone, yeah. that he also came back to the Washington Wizards because he was promised – a oh, stake he, in yes. the team. He was Don't probably the owner, yeah, to go back as the owner. Yeah, he was which promised. He knew that would yeah. have that was part of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Part, smart. Part of it. Yeah, he got screwed, but yeah. it was a good idea. Is AD healthy right now, you guys think? Yeah. As healthy as, I, I, as, I, I, as, I, as healthy as AD can be. As healthy yeah, as healthy as he can be. Okay. Yeah. So, so like this AD right now, is he better than MB? No. No. Okay. Does anybody have AD over Embiid before we talk about the Lakers game tonight? Oh, we're going into the Lakers? Oh, well, yeah. Ron, I want to know about that, that ESPN analyst. Like, do I have to choose for them? Can I, like, can I pick Maria Taylor or something? <laughs> <laughs> hey, big ops. Can you focus, big ops? It can't be Maria Taylor. It can't, 
Yeah, it can't be Maria Taylor. It can't be Joy Taylor. It can't be Molly. It can't be none of them. No. Okay, okay. Cool. So it can't be Malika. No, it can't be Malika. It can't be Molly. I'm going to sit this one out. If Tristan Thompson Thompson, Thompson, Thompson can go up there with them, why can't Can I I debate your name? Joy Taylor is different, boy. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I know. Hey, Taylor Rooks, can I run it in? I do, uh, want to talk to, I do want to talk to Stephen A about Kyrie, though. It's something personal there when it comes uh-huh. to Kyrie Irving. It's definitely something personal there when it comes to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie no question uncle, about that. Kyrie uncles pressed them. Yo, yeah, Tim, we, that's, that's, that, that's that Mariah Carey you slapping over there? We, 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 we got to get to the bottom of what exactly it is between Kyrie Irving and, and Stephen No, no, Smith. that's the true thing. Kyrie uncles really pressed them. Of course, they should. Oh, and, and, okay. Because we're trying to figure out what the problem is. Is that what it is? They pressed them to find out what the problem was? I don't know what don't they find out. Don't leave the true player for real, Ash Puff uh, Daddy. That, that, the, the... <laughs> The distaste that Stephen A. had with Kyrie came before then. I think the main issue with Stephen A. Smith that happened was he just had a really big problem of him just not showing up to, to where he where he thought that he should have showed up to, you know, just missing games and this and that. And I think the way that he was criticizing Kyrie Irving, Kyrie didn't like the fact that, you know, he was criticizing him in that light, but not a lot of other guys. You know, it was just a certain level of distaste that Stephen A. had towards him. Which is no, that's wrong. that's wrong. Hey, uh, hey, chill. Hey, chill. Sorry to go back a second here in time. Um, the average margin of victory in the playoffs over the last 20 years is 12.9 points. So I'll repeat it. I'd rather be up 10. The average margin of victory? 12.9 points, yeah. By who? In the playoffs. NBA. By any team? Yeah, whatever team that wins. On so, any team, so every team is the average margin of victory in the playoffs in the NBA over the last 20 years is 12.9 points. I'd rather be up 10. I'm trying to remember. I'm, I, don't, I, don't know. I don't remember Milwaukee smoking everybody when they got to the playoffs. You can find it. It's who swayed by instances. the Dallas Mavericks in that game. But it's collective. It's that. Well, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like, Mars. It sounds like we, we, we basically grading on a curve here. That's what we're doing. That's the average margin of victory, 12.9 points. I'd rather be up 10. <laughs> W-star. All right, fellas, let's let's get into it. It's what everybody's here for. It's what everybody's been waiting for. Your Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, sir. Play the Minnesota Timberwolves tonight. And I also want to talk about the backstory with the Timberwolves and Rudy Gobert, too. But fast forward, I need you guys to tell me what's going to happen with the game. Chill Town, we're going to start with you. I would be really surprised if the Lakers lost this game, considering that Minnesota – their best rim protector and interior defender is out. Their best perimeter defender is out. And their one of their best rotation players is out of the lineup. Now, I can appreciate how good Mike Conley is for that lineup. I can appreciate how good uh, Cat is. I can appreciate how good all those other guys are. But there's no reason why they should lose this game. Anthony Davis, who doesn't shoot a good percentage against Cat, but there is no relief for Cat. So them having to go after them having to go after Cat and get him in foul trouble early, plus with the Lakers being able to shoot the long ball and speed the game up, and James involving everybody, they should handle Minnesota tonight. I'm not saying that they should. It should be a dog fight. They should handle the Minnesota Timberwolves tonight. No doubt. No I, doubt. I predict they're going to win by 12.9 points. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to further elaborate on that? No, let someone else go. Let's. <laughs> Uh, yo, Dub, how you feeling? Who's, what's going to happen tonight? Like I said, people talking about Miami losing to the Hawks. If the Lakers don't beat the Timberwolves tonight, it's uh, it's really bad for them. Like, mm-hmm. really, really bad. They should beat them, especially that this way they could go up against Memphis, where I think that that's who they would rather face besides uh, the Denver Nuggets. So that they're on the fraud alert, 100%. Got you. Ox, what's up? Talk to me. I got the Lakers just because, I mean, like Minnesota, there's some bozos. Like you punch your, <laughs> you, you, punch, you, you, you punch your teammate on the sideline. I got to stay. Focused. I mean, you 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 punch your teammate on the sideline, and the young fella break his hand, punch and stuff. Like, where's your impulse control? You got to use your think box. Like that's ridiculous. Man, that's that's like when um when Amari did that with the Knicks. Like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. You 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 hitting stuff. You I mean, you know these you know these guys are big, strong guys. Like you you hit something. I mean, you're gonna something's gonna get hurt. So that was just dumb out of them. So I, I got I gotta go with I, I gotta go with the Lakers just based on that. But I, I think I think the Lakers probably would have handled them anyway though. Cool, cool. Dale, what you thinking? Yeah, I got Lakers, but I'm not a fan of those takes only because if 
if it's like Braun pushing somebody, like, let's go, or doing the same thing, is oh, he's mad that they're losing. Like, it's not viewed the exact same way. If it's Braun punching his hand, Braun, you, it's not Braun, you stupid for that. Braun just so mad at the team. It's not hold your composure. It's like something else. But you are correct, but it depends on the person where everybody's getting so mad at them for. But the Lakers, the Lakers, um... But wait, Lakers, wait, wait, wait. If, 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 if Braun punches, punches something and breaks his hand, though... And misses tonight's game, isn't that dumb for Bron though? Ain't you, ain't you no, he did, like, he did it in the 2018 finals. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. The narrative is just gonna be a, a little different. That but did happen. Um, but that the Lakers are in Kevin Durant's shoes where they're in the lose lose. Right, okay. <laughs> Mars, talk to us about this game and then take it. I got you next. The Lakers will win. The Minnesota Timberwolves are not good. Carl Anthony Towns is not good. Um, the Lakers are gonna be the seventh seed, they're gonna win the game comfortably. And um, I'm going to have to listen to the Lakers being in the Western Conference Finals until they get knocked out. Which will be in never. Right. Hey, Morris, we, we got we got, we got got y'all round two. Oh, yeah, you guys are definitely knocking them out. All right, Ticket. What's the word? What's the deal? <sighs> hey, Ticket, pass that. <laughs> pass that, Ticket. Pass that. Have a good time. Yo, he looks gone. I'm not even going to hold him <laughs> nothing. T-Wolves. They say the T-Wolves. They say the T-Wolves is better without Rudy, right? That's what they no, were saying. They without, they're cat. They're without Cat. Without no, Cat. No, they're, they're playing better this season without Rudy. Yeah, that's, what, that's, yeah, that's, what, that's what the statistics are saying yeah, uh, today. That's I'm what they were saying today. Guy. Yeah, that's what, what else they were saying, right? And, and I, I personally think they, they play better without Rudy. I, I think that Rudy hurts them. I'm conflicted because before McDaniels got hurt, I thought that they would have beat them before I heard he got hurt. Um, man, LeBron They're lost six NBA finals. Hurt him? 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 I don't think this game is on LeBron. I don't think we're going to look after this game and say it was LeBron's fault. I think this is what I personally think. I think Cat going to hit AD with a tsunami tonight if he plays because I heard he might not play. But if he plays, I think that I think that is where it's going to be. Who might not won. play, Ticket? Oh, Who's not playing? Cat's so, you know, questionable. Oh. He was down great. So I want to say this, right? Hmm. I think that, you know, bro, how many games has been AD's play straight? Right now, without getting hurt, he been in the lineup for over a month without getting hurt. Yeah, yeah. it's about that time, man. And I ain't no hater. Oh my god! Oh my god! Here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, Yo, listen, uh, listen. Uh, tell uh, him. Hold uh, on. Nah, hold nah, on. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm not hating. Now, listen. Hold on. But Dub, I'm not hating. But he dodged one a couple nights ago. The way he landed on his foot, we yeah, all thought he was going to be gone. I thought he was done. Dude, I thought he was. Yeah, he's, don't turned, he's turned a corner. He's now tough. And listen, the last couple of games, I haven't been impressed with him offensively. He's going to step that up tonight. He's going to outplay Cat because I'm going to tell you something. I think that young boy, Ant-Man, I think he's coming tonight. I think he's coming tonight in this game. And I, and I don't think – and this is the bad, worst thing the Lakers can do is underestimate a, a wounded dog is the most dangerous one. So I don't think that they should underestimate this team because if they do, t Wolves can get up by a lot early. And I think that should be the formula for the t Wolves to try to hit the Lakers early, get up by a lot of points, and you know the Lakers are going to make a run and try to stave them off. I just don't think they. I don't know if they can pull it off without the Daniels and and just the way that their team is going right now. Now I do disagree. With one thing that Dale said and Bob said they, they was upset about the um about the punch with Rudy Gobert. I wasn't upset about that. I'm on Shannon Sharp side with that, bro. Listen, somebody call you a bitch like three times to your face, bro, and you ain't punching dude in his mouth. Like that. That's the only thing I was mad about is that Rudy Gobert didn't knock him out. He should have knocked his ass out. And that's the same way I felt like with KD when, when Draymond did that to him in the game. Like, let's be honest. If I looked at Fluent in the game, if I looked at Dub in the game, I mean, I looked at Chilltown in the game, and I said that to you three times in front of everybody that's watching and listening, all the team, everybody that's in the arena sitting right there watching me do it. Bro, you're going to want to throw hands right there. You ain't finna think about we going to the playoffs or what. This man just violated you and disrespected you as a man. So me personally, I think they rally because I, I really think they don't like Rudy Gobert on that squad. Because if you heard the hot mic, Anderson said, yo, they got to make a decision. Y'all been let this dude get away with everything over here. You know what I'm saying? And then then he backed it up, (laughs) went out and balled in the second half of that game. 
So, and he's going to have to be the one that steps up tonight because he got into it. He don't want to call him out. So he's going to have to step up and give you 15, 18 points unexpectedly. So, bro. Do y'all think that the Wolves blame Rudy Gobert for what happened this season? Yes. Maybe. I told y'all before the season. Yes. Ticket, do, do you think Rudy reacted that way to prove to you that he was tough? Oh, yeah, man. he had to. Listen, listen, listen. It's just good timing. It's just good timing. Hold on, no, no. I'm going to say this. I want to say this. <laughs> and I know Chilltown knew this because he a high Put an elbow too. on his chest. Chill, Chill Town, Chilltown is the biggest faker known to mankind. He come on here and put on his suit and tie act, but he's really he, he's really a thug in heart. And Fluent, <laughs> Fluent one of them feisty little guys, too. He on the court. He, he a feisty little dude, too. But I, I'm just saying, bro, listen, it's something about when you do that to your teammate in front of in front of everybody that throws you off a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Or it turns you up. And so we're going to see, because remember, when he did that, Prince got up and yam, dude. He got up and pushed like Rudy, like, yo, what's up? What you want to do? So he And he's another guy. He's capable of hitting four to five threes tonight. So you got to, like, they still got little sneaky guys. I think the Lakers got to watch out early for for, for a first quarter, 40-point first quarter from – Minnesota. I think that's the key for Minnesota. If they get up early in this game and go do like a 40 to 25 first quarter, I think they might hold off and win this game. If not, if it's close and it goes to the end, the Lakers, they, they're going to take it. So if you I mean, ask me. Something. If, I think they did something similar. They did, some, they did something similar when they played them not too long ago when when Anthony Davis rolled his ankle. I think Minnesota had them almost 20 in a hole at one point, and they end up getting back in the game. Yeah, Anthony that was Davis, Minnesota. Yeah, Anthony Davis ended up rolling his ankle and – Rudy Gobert said, quote, unquote, we let them off the hook because we felt sorry for them. Well, that's not true. You're not going to feel sorry for a team if their best player is out the game. In fact, we're going to jump on you even more if that's the case, that your best player is out the game. I think that Ant, I think that Ant is going to be, the, I think he's going to be the difference in tonight's game. He's got to give them big minutes and he's got to give them really good minutes in order for them to have a shot in this game. Cat, I said this in the past, and I, I caught a lot of heat for it. Cat gives me Chris Webber vibes. What I mean when I say he gives me Chris Webber vibes, he gives me Chris Webber vibes from the aspect that from a talent standpoint, I haven't seen many better. But when the lights get brighter, he straight cheeses up. I, he, hey, he, oh, he oh, under, hey, what, he one, thing forgot, one, one, thing, chill, one thing I forgot to tell you, we got to think about this too. He can. He's capable of going off and giving you 20 tonight too, and that's Conley. We can't forget about Conley Jr. He's a steady point guard. He he handles pressure well. He can get you in your sets. I'm looking at Minnesota, and yes, they're missing McDaniels, bro. But I think if we honestly look at this, bro, they still got other pieces. I like Torian Prince as a role player. If he can get it rolling, he is three or four. If he is four threes tonight, and then if you get a guy like if Ant's doing his thing, he give you 25. But I'm telling you, bro, I think it's gonna boil down to Cat and AD again. If Cat comes out with one of those performances where he dogs AD. I don't even think we're talking about LeBron after this game. I think everybody's saying AD ain't do it. He ain't get it done. And then you facing one game elimination at Chill Town. If you lose this game tonight, <laughs> oh, buddy, you know I'm going to be on your <laughs> The Lakers are your team. Yeah, you know what? Make, you yeah, you know make the no, you no, a nasty no, dude. You a nasty dude. No, Ticket is no longer a Laker. Uh, but let me, let me say this. This might be the, the most important first quarter of any game you've ever seen. So just to go back a second, Cat. Without Cat, they're 27 and 26. Without Gobert, it's not a big enough sample size. They're 8 and 4. So they do have they're, they're, they have a good record when Gobert's not there. I've said this at the beginning of the season, and it was proving to be true. I didn't think Cat and Gobert were going to work together, and you saw what they were doing at the beginning of the season. They're actually better with one or the other, not with both. So this actually works to their favor, which I can't believe, that Gobert is out. It's crazy to think that. But if they come out in the first quarter and the Lakers play like they played in that last what was that last game where AD and LeBron just took a nap, or no, that game against the Clippers, excuse me, that game against the Clippers where they were sleeping in the first quarter and, and Minnesota can come in and knock down some shots and even be close. It doesn't have to be a blowout. Even if they're close, if they're tied in the first quarter with the Lakers and they build confidence, mm -hmm. they're going to be in trouble. The Lakers need to come out first quarter, punch them in the face, not literally, uh, punch them in the face and take a lead so that they go, you know what? We can't win without these dudes. Let's focus on the next one. And they and they can rip their hearts out. But if they give them a shot in the first quarter, Lakers are in trouble. They should win this game going away. But if they give Minnesota, if they let Minnesota keep it close, they're in trouble. 
They are in trouble. Actually, I actually agree with what Ticket said. They're in that situation where they, they might, because I did see that dude, I didn't know who it was, who jumped up and pushed Gobert right away. Like they, they, and they, and if they use that to band together, they could be in trouble. Yeah, they, 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 they are, are they, dangerous. I, I, I got a, a, a wrong. I got 500 from one of these dudes in the comment section that keep talking about, oh, Ticket ain't a real Laker fan. You guys are LeBron James fans. You know nothing about the history of the Los Angeles Lakers. If you bring your ass up here, I'll cook you three the hard way on the history of the Los Angeles Lakers. And, so and let's, let's not do this. Get, take it a step further. They're not even they're not even basketball fans. They're LeBron James. I've seen a lot of people that are James fans. They're not even basketball fans. Fan. You're a fake Laker fan, bro. You don't. You no. guys don't know nothing about history about no, the Lakers. No, you can't no, no, right no, now. No, me, Till, Till, and Flo will cook all you clowns straight no, up. No, no, I, think, I think you're a Kobe <laughs> fan. I don't even think you're a Lakers fan. I think you're a Kobe. Oh, okay, fan. okay, hold on. Which, so which year you want to go to? You want to go to ninety one? Nineteen seventy two. Nineteen seventy two. What happened? Jesus hold on, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was hold on. That was that was Jerry West, right? Yeah, it was Jerry West. Who okay, let's go. Which, who, 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 who did they be in the finals? Which you want to talk about that season? Hold on, let's go. Which you want to talk about that season? Who did they be in the finals? Dub, so hold on. Dub, dub. No, no, that's so, what, what happened in the 1972 season. Hold on. I think, was, was that the season? Hold on. That wasn't the year they got through, was it? Ticket, let me help you out, Ticket. No, 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 no. He, 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 no problem. He, no, 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 so, so really, so, so really quick. Hold on, Doug. Hold on, Doug. Hold on, Doug. Really Doug. Just give me, just give me the two main guys that was on the team that year. Was it was it Weston? Was it Weston? Weston Will. Weston Will. That was the year. That was the year. Baylor wasn't there. Baylor wasn't there. Okay. Oh, so they did win the chip because because the year after the Baylor, the year that Baylor retired, they won the chip. Who did they beat? Who did they beat? I'll, I'll give you a hint. I'm gonna G be the GM of their team did next they year. The, hold on. Did they hold on? Did they beat the? Did they beat the Bucks that year? No. Yeah, they no, did beat the Bucks. No, yes, they, they, no, in the oh, finals. The finals, no. In the finals, no. They beat the, the Bucks finals, in the West. No. Yeah, oh, that's right. Because that that was um when it was different back then. When the, the Bucks um, were in the, the Bucks were in the West. Back Bucks was in the Western Conference. conference. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, correct. that's right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know that. They did switch that up back then. Matter of fact, I for sure didn't know that. Okay. Who, the the, who did the they US beat too. in the finals, though, Ticket? I will be the GM of this team next year. I'm giving you the best hint ever. That trash. Oh, it was the Knicks, Ticket. There we go. They beat Walt, go. They beat Walt the Knicks. Yeah, therefore. I don't know a lot of the past. Right, hold on, hold on. For some reason I hold knew on. that what, Hey, hold on. Wasn't hey, Phil on that team? Know? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wasn't no, Phil Jackson on that team? team? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't, hold, yep. on. hold on. That was the Knicks team. That was the Knicks team with Walt. That was the Knicks team with Phil. That was Bill the Knicks team. Hold on. That was the Knicks team with Bradley. That was Bill Bradley. Dave that was the Knicks team. Paul Frazier. Al Monroe was on that team, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, yeah. Who did Dave they Bryan face in 70? Who did they face uh, in they ain't get, they ain't get They ain't get pro. Ticket, ticket. Who did they face in Al was on that team? Yeah, Earl, yeah he, Earl was on that I don't team. Think, I don't think they got pro to the next year. That was the only finals. I wasn't in that Hold on. That was the only finals Jerry West won. That's it. All right, so who did they face next season? Because they lost, but who did they face and lose to? Man. Nah, hold on. That next season wasn't no, nah, because that, that couldn't have been. Oh, Earl, Earl, Earl Monroe was on that team. He played all sixteen games in the playoffs. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm, yes. I, I thought. I, I thought. He, I didn't think he got on until the next year. My fault. Sure. Look at me, never. No, nah, but what was the guy? That <laughs> stats, 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 Mars. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be on no, that, that, that one. That one. That one. That one was uh, the Bullets or the Sixers. No, I'm keeping my mouth shut because the bullets are seventy-one. 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 The but when you get up here, you really trying to think. Sometimes you get the years mixed up, bro. Yeah, That's yeah you did say the books. You did say the books. I can, the I can tell you everybody that was on that next team. I can tell you what their roles were. I can tell you. I can tell you how Phil was coming off the bench that year. What what, what type of player he was? All this stuff, bro. These cats can't tell you that. They lost to the Knicks again. 
I mean, they lost to the Knicks. They yeah. got a rematch in the Knicks. Again. 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 Mm-hmm. They played the Knicks in the finals three times. Yeah, for the second for the second time, they lost to them again. All right, fellas, let's reel it back in. I got one more question for you regarding the Lakers and the Timberwolves. Mm-hmm. I want to know for the T-Wolves, what's the bigger loss or who's the bigger loss? Rudy Gobert or Jaden McDaniels for tonight's game? Rudy. McDaniels. You're going to have – Carl Anthony Towns is going to foul out of the game or be in foul trouble the whole time. One I, I think McDaniels is the bigger loss because Cat and Gobert don't play well together. When they have them both, they don't play well together. They should have just lost Cat and kept Rudy. That's why. Yeah. Well, yes. Maybe. I don't know. Sure. Because them not having the Lakers are a team that needs to get to the rim. You've now gotten rid of one of the best rim protectors, mm. and in his place is Carl Anthony Towns. That's just who, that's who is not a five man. He really is a four man playing the five, which he. Why do you want always to. say that? Why do you always he played, say he played, that? Because he played the that four in college. That gets me so mad every time you college. say that. Chill. The reason why is because that's what he is. He's a four man. Oh, and but still, it's up. positionless. It's yeah. positionless. Basketball doesn't matter what you are. Well, I've, I've heard you say. Too. I've heard you he's say, chill, that he came into the league playing the four. He didn't. He came into he, the league. He was a four, a four in college. When, when he, he when he came out when he left Kentucky, he was playing a four next to next to uh, Cauley Stein. I think that's Willie his name Cauley. at Kentucky. Oh, yeah. So he was yeah. the four at Kentucky. So he came into the league as a four man. Four, yeah. Yeah, he came into the league as a four man, and they made him play the five. Very much similar to what Russell Westbrook mm-hmm. did when Russell Westbrook came into the NBA. Russell Westbrook was playing behind. Russell Westbrook was playing the two guard at at, at UCLA when he they came into the league. Holiday, right? He was no, that was the next year. He was playing oh, behind um Darren yeah, Darren Collinson. Darren Collinson. Darren Collinson. So the next year they converted Russ to the one. Russ wasn't a, Russ wasn't the one coming into the league. So Carl Anthony Towns, he wants to be the four man. That's why I thought that this was going to work because Carl mm-hmm. Anthony Towns moving to the four now he gets to be that stretch four. He doesn't have to rebound. Not only does he not have to rebound as much, not even not only does he not have to play defense as much. Now he can be that four, and Rudy can rim protect. Rudy can play the Rudy can go up against those five men that he had to deal with. So he had to deal with Embiid. He had to deal with uh, um, Joker. He had to deal with guys like that. So now. That leaves Carl Anthony Towns to deal with other guys. And plus, Rudy takes so much pressure off of him because Carl Anthony Towns is able to stretch the defense offensively, right? So because he's able to do that, I just thought that this thing between these two guys was going to work. It, it, mm-hmm. it, I don't think we got a big enough sample size because we only got 29 games. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think we only got twenty. I think well, there was only only together twenty nine games. So I don't think we got a. I don't think we got a big enough sample size. I think that the data is incomplete on that. It's never gonna work. I don't think it's ever gonna work. I don't. I just. Don't I, I don't. Think I don't think you listen defense. to a player either. Like I just because Carl Anthony Towns wants to be the four doesn't mean that's where he's best suited. Anthony Davis wants to be a four. He needs to play the five. Yeah, but AD, where is he? Where, AD where is defensively where is, capable? That's where he needs to be. But fluent, if they're if they're not gonna buy into it. You no, I I, I understand that. I, Especially I, today I, with this with this player's the conundrum, league. Ox, that's the conundrum. Yeah. Do you say that Dwayne Wade's a point guard? No. Nah. Chill. Oh, uh, I said that Dwayne Wade's uh, a lead guard. Fourth, no, yeah. I don't. I, no, you don't I, say because he, he started out in college. He played a point in college and he played a point yeah. in his first year. He so he came play. into the league he as a point guard and he moved to a shooting guard. Point guard in college, Travis um, Dina was yeah, the point guard. That's who got. Yeah. That's Damn, dog, yo, come on. I know what's going on. He did a point guard in the first year. Listen, when you come into the NBA, your roles will change. Tim Duncan was a center, right? Yeah, Comes to the Spurs and he has to play yeah. power forward until David right. Robinson retires. And then I, he goes, st- I still feel Tim Duncan as a center. To me, he's just. Well, he played more years as a center than a power forward. So that's. But his best years were at the fourth. His best years were power forward, yeah. Yeah, his best mm-hmm. his best years were at the four spot, but it's a game changes, position changes. But Tim Duncan is a power forward, <laughs> like he, like Tim, like in college. Of course, you're the biggest guy. We're gonna put you. Yeah, he, that's why I said he came in as a center, like played today, power forward. Like if, if if I'm in high school, the way I play basketball, I'll play a center. But my skill says I'm a small forward, or power, that's just right. how it goes. Yeah. In college, you six eight. They want you at the four, but some skills you're a three, you're some six eight two man. It's just how it is. Uh, at high school, is I started as four. Larry, I started Bird as a four. four. Oh, Larry Bird. No. Is Larry Bird a four? He came no, into the league. Bird, he came into the league as a four and became a three. Yeah, I'm going to grab the board to make space for. <laughs> you want, that's why I moved out. Clear. There ain't with no boards. He never came <laughs> into the league as a four. He just played the four in college. That's it's a difference what you guys are saying. Like he came, he played the four in college because of the team needs, but he was always a three man. Always. Who are we talking about, Dale? Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Oh, yeah, he was always no, a small no, I think, no, I think he played that first year they get uh, is it Mikhail? And then he played power forward until Mikhail was. Yeah, so I think he moved, I think he moves over. 
He moved again, over to the five. He moved over to the yeah, but that's all, that, was, that, was, that was saying you can play the four but still be a free. That's what that's right. saying. And and, oh, yeah, Bird, and, 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 and Bird and Bird moved over to the Bird moved over to the four. Bird moved over to the four when they got Mikhail, which was the next year because Cedric Maxwell played the three. That's why Bird played the four when he first showed right. up. His rookie year. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying, man. Larry Bird could be a power. They got Cedric. How long he played? How many years he played with Cedric Maxwell? Six. Okay. And then after after yeah, McHale came, who went to the bench? After I'll when McHale came saying. the next year, Cedric Maxwell went where? He didn't go to the bench. Cedric Maxwell stayed at Cedric Maxwell stayed he at, at, at the, he, no he, no he stayed at the three. He played behind Cedric. Who that was that the thing. He, he not only did not only did he play behind Cedric. Or he started his second year. Bird started. Okay, so let's rewind. Right. So that when they okay. get Bird in the 79-80 season, right? They get Bird in the 79-80 season. Cedric Maxwell is on the crew already. So Cedric Maxwell is starting at the three. Bird starts at the four. They get Kevin McHale in the 80-81 season, right? So Kevin McHale is playing behind Cedric Maxwell. He's going to play behind Cedric Maxwell for three seasons. Oh, and his okay. contract is up. So his contract is up. Now we got a problem with his contract. Not only is his contract up, he got hurt. So he was out the lineup. That moves Kevin McHale into the starting lineup. So now Kevin McHale is in the starting lineup, and he rolling. So he basically got that – He ba Kevin McHale basically got that job by default, and he never was able to give it back. Is and that's McHale how Larry Bird and that's how Larry Bird ended up moving to the three permanently. Is, is McHale top 75? McHale? Yes. Did he should make be, it? Not. He should yeah, be. he was top 75? Yes. Okay. Oh, I didn't, know, I didn't know that. Good for him. All right, fellas, that, let's go ahead and swing into these super chats. Oh, I agree. I, I agree he should have been. He deserves more than Bill Walton and uh, Lenny Wilkins. And Anthony Davis. Bill Walton. And Dave DeBusha. And, and Reggie Bill Miller. Bradley. What's wrong with Reggie? Okay. And Reggie Miller. <laughs> Nick's bias. <laughs> no, no. Speaking of Reggie Miller, Dylan Watson with the super oh chat said, God. one on one, who wins, Reggie Miller or Tracy That's McGrady? The easy one. Tracy McGrady. That's Tracy the worst. McGrady. That's the worst question I've ever seen. <laughs> is, easy. is anybody McGrady. taking Reggie? No, I know no. I'm not. Hey, anybody? Dub, you got Dub, you got T Mac, right? It's not a shootout. I got Larry Bird, bro. Bob, do you still stand on <laughs> <laughs> Bob? Do you still stand on P? Hey, 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 chill, I'm Morris, not gonna do that today. <laughs> I just want to know if he's standing on it. Hey, I'll stand on it, Morris. I'll stand on it. Hey, I'm gonna give y'all a quick history lesson, just one second. The reason why that's a bad question is, and chill, time to tell you this: Cheryl Miller used to beat Reggie Miller one on one. Serve him. So, serve him. <laughs> you get served Cheryl by Cheryl Miller was good. Yo, Cheryl, Cheryl Miller would have served. Shout out to Cheryl Miller. Yeah, but she wasn't supposed to be beating Reggie, though. She's the best player. She would drop into the NBA. NBA right? too. Cheryl Miller, Cheryl Miller, Cheryl Miller. Cheryl Miller is the best Miller in that family, and she had a brother play in the NBA. And Candace Parker is the best Parker in her family, and he, she has a brother who played in the NBA. And Anthony Parker would serve her. Cut no way. Out. She no way. He would serve no her. Way. Anthony Parker I'm, would fuck her. He would I destroy am, her. One hundred percent, Candace. Ron, as you were saying, keep going. Yeah, Players' yeah. choice, no, WNBA coming soon. When I was right. four, when I was right. like 14, 13, 14, my sister used to get at me too. There you go. Until I mean, until I got 16, 17, all that was done. But you know, when I was, <laughs> but when I was like 15, though, she for I'm sure sleeping used to get on at Candace me. Parker. But Bob, you, you must not have been playing serious. You said what? Shout out, Candace. I know you're watching. Shout out. You weren't playing, you weren't playing serious. Imagine oh, she was, came out saying she lost. When I was 13, when I was 13, before I before I hit my growth spurt, when I was 13, bro. My my sister could really get my sister could really get at me for real, but that Bob, you're just saying that they don't know who your sister is though. So you got to give context to it and tell them your sister, damn near six three. She was a D one recruit. She had letters from from all around the nation. You got to right. put that in the context. That's right. Don't that, just that, say that, your that, sister that, that matters, right? Don't make it sound like well, your sister. I, I, I figured, figured, figured y'all would just assume that. No, yeah, I, 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 I would. I put no. together that. No, your sister was your sorry. Come on, big so Your sister wasn't know, just some chick. She was a baller. Right. But but that but I'm but I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm saying the tickets point though or fluence point which one of your, whichever one y'all said that like Cheryl Miller you know what I'm saying is known as one of if not the best top three women's uh hoopers of all time so I, I don't think that's there's nothing wrong with her getting that Larry getting that Larry while they were I mean not Larry Reggie while they was Reggie in high school right. you know right and when they're grown if you if you let if you let her beat you when y'all in y'all twenties and thirties like nah that's that's out of line but when you know when you're 14, 15 years old though I can see it. We back in effect, Christopher D. Yes, we are. We back in effect, yo. No doubt about it. We are back in effect. We still, we still, hey, you didn't even tell anybody, Ron. 
we're here on Tuesdays at the at the original time, but we still every day at noon. You got to tell them, bro. Doing that, we still doing on. that. Don't be an L host. Words from the dub host. <laughs> All right, let's let let's get into it. Mo Dog with the super chat said, "Tuned in to Ticket TV the other day, and y'all ever hear the song Welcome to the Jungle? It was like a rated R version of PC, entertaining as hell. Shout out Ticket." Hey, ticket give good content, yo. If, if none of y'all don't know it, yo, run run over to ticket TV, run over to ticket TV when the lights is on. You will enjoy it. It, it, it get wow. So you better have your you better have your fist up. You better have your fist up. All right. You better not have a suit and a tie on. You better oh. not have a jacket on. You better walk in the door with your gloves on. You better be ready to fight. For anybody so, that's they, seen for a uh, total ticket for anybody that's seen open gym today, uh Desto was completely wrong. He owes ticket a hundred dollars. That's he, tried. Oh, he owe me a hundred. Oh, hey, hey, listen, yo, hey, listen. I can feel that. I can feel that dub. I can feel that dub. But, but the only thing about that dub is for you to not have all the information, though. You feel me? And then just do that stuff like that. That was out of pocket without asking at least first. <laughs> hey, nah, hey, nah, hey, nah, but, but, hey, Bob. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, dub. I'm just saying, bro. If somebody, if Bobby, you my guy. If somebody says that. You telling me that somebody owes you money. You my friend. I know you like that. You feel me? I'm a like, okay, cool. Get the fuck out of here. Like, what the hell are we talking about? That's just me, me, bro. That's no OB, that's no, and, and listen, let me, let me say this real quick. Y'all don't, a lot of people don't understand me on YouTube. My platform is different than what everybody else get, y'all. Everybody else, a lot of people get y'all formal. You know what I'm saying? Just, you get everything. You like, you got like, like Mars, like you just a, the statistical analytical breakdowns, Chill Town to give you the historical breakdowns, Fluent will give you a, a mix of everything. You understand what I'm saying? And me, I'm giving you the hardcore straight basketball talk. So I'm like, are you in the barbershop on a on a Saturday afternoon? This is how it used to be. And Chill Town know this. That's why I don't understand why so many people get offended. Bro, this is how it really is in a barbershop. And everybody that went every Saturday, this is how it was. You go when you going in the shop, bro. We we having heated conversations. And then when we leave, it's all good. We cool. But some people say that's they can't. They don't understand that. That's why you know what I'm saying they don't understand how I fit on this show and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying, bro? Everybody got their part. Everybody got they. Everybody brings something to the table, and I think that's how that's what makes it work. You know what I'm saying? In the words, in because the words that is how we. That is how we. That is how we grew up. In we would fight and thing. argue and hate each other, and then we'd walk out and we'd get a ride home from the same dude we were arguing with. Like that's just words, how. In the, words facts, Cedric, in the words of Cedric the Entertainer, our own country club. That's facts, bro. That's hey, Fluent. I seen dudes and Fluent. Y'all was wrong about this, and I'm gonna call you out on this. Y'all, you you hounded me this year, and Ron can pull up the tape. You and I think it was you and Chill Town hounded me. Y'all was saying that dudes wasn't just cold cocking each other in the locker room and stuff. I told you, dog. I didn't say they weren't doing that. I didn't say they weren't. I never yeah, said they were. Yeah, you said dudes ain't walking around here just cold cocking each other all the time. So yes, I'm they are. They're not doing it. I said, not doing it. I, 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 what I said was they're not doing it as much today as they were in the past because there's so many Man, cameras okay. and things around that they know that they'll get caught. Whereas back then there was no cameras. You didn't know unless someone said that something that they shouldn't have. Right. It needs to happen more today. More players, heck, more kids, more people need to get punched in the face to smarten up. Hey, do y'all think it was a problem that they suspended Rudy? Like, I've seen a lot of people, like, like Shannon and Skip, they had a real problem that they suspended him for that. Like, me too, I, like, bro. To be, to, honest with you, to be honest with you, Ticket, I think it was something that we could have squashed this. I think we could have just squashed it. it, it I don't like think this punch him in the face. And I, I, but I, I understand from a business standpoint, I, I do understand from a business standpoint that, yo, we can't have this kind of, we can't have this kind of graphic on TV and you know how America is, all of that. But but, yeah. but player to player, me and Ticket, we could have went in the back and we could have squashed this. Chill, that wasn't even that graphic. He didn't even hit him. At first, I thought he hit him in the jaw. But don't forget. But, but but don't forget though. Don't forget though. We also had another. Don't don't forget that we also had another scuffle earlier in the day. And what we don't want to do is we don't want we don't want to have the the American public thinking that we are out of control league. We don't want we don't want them to think that. Oh, that's so, what happened in the seventies. You can't yeah, have. We, 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 we don't want them to think that. But again, if this was me and Ticket. Yo, we can go in the back and we can squash this. Even if we do got to get into another here, but we can squash it at the end of this. Oh, I'm not worried about them too, but I'm saying they had to because it was seen by everybody. They had to suspend him. They had to. All right, fellas. This last hour, we're going to spend strictly on these super chats. I got a million of them, so we're going to try to run it. through these as fast as we can. 
And by the way, Desto, uh, if you want to get on the Monday and Wednesday show, just send me fifty dollars and I got you. Hey, we need the whole. Hey, hey, we, yo, yo, we repay our debts out here, fam. You, you, you owe, yo. Stop playing, B. If you owe, stop playing. Mm -hmm. For everybody in the chat, the argument was stop playing, B. If you owe, Ticket. run that. Tickets said Stephen Curry has seven elite years, but then he said because of an injury, it was six. But he always started off with right. seven. So, and when I said elite, I'm talking about the Steph Curry that we're seeing now. We only saw that for a six-year span. I ain't talking about the first year when he started cooking. Uh, well, that's, that's facts. We didn't see this Steph Curry that's out here giving dudes 30 and 28 like that eight years ago. That was Steph Curry averaging like what? I don't, know who, I, I don't know who Desto is. It's, it's, he it's said he'll pay you when you buy low his steak dinner. <laughs> Me and Low already settled it. I told Low I pull up on him, get straight up, give it to him. Low says, "Nah, I ain't want it." Oh, I said, cool, oh, no, oh man, no. oh man, we'll it ain't no, like it ain't that nothing that for me to pull up to the eight. It ain't number two hours. Low, wait a minute. What? So All right, Desto, hey Desto, you don't, you don't pull, you don't pull no rank and call no rules, Desto. You pay that hundred dog. Period. <laughs> Go ahead, Desto. I'll send you the cash app if you need it. All right, fellas. Tyrone Hill said, "Fluent's team's gonna be worse than the Bobcats." They're talking about Tyrone Hill. My team's gonna be worse than the. Are you crazy? Y'all don't know. <laughs> you meant Tyrone Young. Y'all don't know. You don't, you know. Here's what you guys don't understand. Here's what you guys guys don't understand. This is the difference between me and you. I'm gonna build a team, right? I'm gonna have my stars, of course, because I need a couple of stars. But I'm gonna build a team that is deep, that has a bunch of role players that do all that dirty work stuff that the prima donna players don't want to do getting on the boards, diving for loose balls, setting screens. Trust me, it's going to be a well-rounded team. You guys look for names, and you think, how did names work for the Nets? Names don't win chips. Role players win chips. Raptors been trying to do that for years now. They That's because they can't get a star, thing. though, but you still have to have that star. You need to have that guy who can close up the last two minutes when you're up 12.9 points. And they did it in 2019. And they did it in hey, 2019 Matt, Matt, when they got that guy. Just think about just think about that. In 2019, in 2019, what were they missing? What was the difference between DeMar and Kawhi? The real difference was when there was two minutes left in the game, they said, here, Kawhi, score. And he went, okay. And he did it. And that's why they won. That's it. That was the difference. He was just better. But yeah. Yeah, of course he's better, obviously. And they got Danny Green, too. And Mark Gasol. And Mark Gasol. And Mark Gasol. Siakam emerged to damn near. Yeah, but, but uh, they were out. OG and Anobi had a had a uh, appendectomy, and he missed the whole playoffs. Yeah, I was going to uh, say. It could have been bad. even better. You don't talk about that injury. You talk about Clay. You missing wanna know you wanna I mean, what? That's that's not, when, you, when, you acquire, when you acquire Mark Gasol and then Serge Ibaka in the boys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's all. Low down in the house. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Low down is in the house, and he fresh too. Don't, don't think. Hold on. And, 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 and. I got a flat. I got a flat about screen. this steak dinner. Put him back Yo, on the tight screen, Ron. Steak dinner. Put him back on the yeah. tight screen, Ron. Because not what y'all don't see is Low is clean today too. Okay, put him back on the tight screen. He left. Fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't think we don't know what time it is with Low. Low down is in the house. Oh. Hey, Low. Put up Low down. <laughs> Hey, Lo, them glasses. Hey, Lo, glasses can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, Lo, we got something to talk about today. Hey, Lo, what's going hey, on? Hey, 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 How what happened? Hey, Lo, did I not offer to pay you? Did I not offer to you the A and, and take you out to get that steak dinner, dog? Did I not offer you that? Yeah, but when we, when we doing it? When we doing it? Oh, see? I'm saying you told me. It's not clear. You told me. It's not you, clear. You came to my you said, hold on, hold on, low. When you came to my channel, you said, now nah, we good. But see, if you want to do it, I'll pull up to the A. I ain't good. I'm talking about low. You're getting new now. You getting when you get from the company. You getting low. There you go. He's only two hours away. He's only two hours away, he said. No, he's only two hours away. You you tell him. We, what we, we got we to do, do it during the offseason. I'm, I'm, I'm so the off -season. Season. During the offseason. Right. Okay, low. And we'll, and we'll go live together so everybody see I'm there. I bet, I bet, yeah. We gotta do it the off season. I'm I'm mad busy, I'm mad busy, mad busy. Hey, low, all of, all of my ashes have two or three honeys on deck. That's it. Because we right. know you got it, and you and we know you know where they at too, though. Hey, you know, like that. We know your rep. We know you. We know you know where they at too, low. So don't act like that. That's simple. That's simple. Okay. Man. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. All right. Yeah. Hey, Dub, Dub, been up here. Um. 
No lying, man. You know, I <laughs> yeah, Dub's been chatting. Dub's James, yeah, been chatting. All right, baby. Hey, hey, what's it called? <laughs> Mars did the nastiest thing today. He got on me for not adjusting for the lineups, but the stat he made it off about James Harden, he didn't clarify that. No, James what Harden I did, was what I did was say, minute. if you're going to talk about how well someone's playing without someone, it's more than just the games in which that player didn't play. There's also times when they're just not on the court with them. That's also them playing without them. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't adjust. Dub, you got cooked. Dub, you didn't, you got whoa, cooked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't, you didn't adjust. You didn't adjust. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't adjust. James Harden playing. We're not recapping bench. open gym. Ron, take yeah, control. Man, take man. control. What's the next topic? Yeah, yeah, we we go. Go. Super, super chat, super chat. Hey, hold on, hold on, no, hold on, no. But, hey, but, we got to pay some bills. We, we got to pay some bills, that, Ron. Before we do that, Low, I need to know, is there anything you need to get off your chest or is there any topics that you want to talk about? No, 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 we good, man. You good? Exactly. Right. Super right. Miami, Miami um, going to win, and so will the Lakers tonight, man. If they don't win, um, Collins is better than Bam Adebayo. Facts. <laughs> there we go. We're doing this. No doubt. We're doing it. I'm <laughs> uh, about to start trolling again. Again? Not you. I'm about to start trolling. You would, you would I, never struggle, Mars. Mars, you would that, never That super chat that you just put up there, I, I think that's Orlando. Considering the talent level that they got. I mean, Detroit, they still got a lot of holes. They still got a lot of questions. They still have Charlotte, Charlotte, I don't know what they're doing. Orlando with, 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 with Bobo, with Bonchero, who I think is a more athletic version of, of Antoine Walker. I'm loving anything about his game. I'm not really sure if Anthony – I'm not sure if Anthony is the answer at the lead guard, but I really like him. Um, Suggs, is, Suggs looks like he's becoming a player, and if I'm not mistaken, Fultz is actually, Fultz is actually looking like he's, he's, he's turning into something really good. So I like Orlando's future. I do. What about, like what about Lil Wagner? Yeah, from him Wagner too. But, yeah, Va Va Wagner. Wagner is actually – yeah, he, he looked they, they look like they look like they're on their way to doing either. something in Orlando. Mark Howe is Mark Howe is their lead guard going forward. Carl Anthony will be a six man. I think that's okay. what's gonna, that's what they're gonna do. Do you think okay. do you think they'll stay together long enough to be good? That's what I, that's where I was going with that tone. I'm I'm, I'm not sure that you know because at, at some point we're gonna have to pay these dudes. And the question is is how many of them can we actually keep around? And how many will want to stay? Don't like isn't that just the thing with Orlando? You get good and you leave. I don't think Orlando is that kind of place though, Tone. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Dwight Howard would have stayed down there, but he I didn't. Think, uh, but I think the the, re the relationship between him and Stan Van Gundy soured. That that that's what I think. That was the worst part about that. And Shaq, I think it was something simple as Orlando. All they had to do was match the money that the Lakers put on the table, and he would have stayed there. But they didn't. <laughs> but they didn't. <laughs> so this. That's all I'm saying. I think I think everybody that's 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 hype about them, and if they stay together, they're absolutely right. I just I have this thing that in my gut that just says they're gonna get good, and then people start to leave, and they have to start over again. Which Jalen Duran in Detroit reminds me of a young Dwight Howard. I'm not saying that's as good as he can be, but he just reminds right. me of him. So I, I'm really high on what I he keep can hearing be. that, Mars. I do. I keep hearing that, man. He, he's he's I really do. good. But the issue is now James Wiseman's there and he's stunting his growth by not being allowed to play as much as he needs Stop to. Stop hating on James Wiseman. Leave the him alone. With the problem Jaylen with Detroit, Dur Jalen Duran needs to be the one player. He left he's the team. Playing. Let him be. Let, let, let him probably, develop. And, and I probably need to see Durham. I, I probably need to see him, but I'm sorry, Miles, but I can't watch the Pistons. I'll be trying, Wait, man. No, it's, not, it's not fun. It's not fun. I can't watch it. Watching Killian Hayes play basketball is kind of Oh, my God. I'll be trying to watch these dudes. Dwayne Casey's going to bring in a nice young coach to develop these guys. You just... Don't worry about Detroit. Oh, hey, Odell's here, man. How you feel about your man about to win another championship, bro? How you feel about that, bro? I, I, we, I had a, a heated KD. Who, LeBron? And ticket. No, KD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> KD going to um, win another championship, man. Yeah, right. So Harry's going to win uh, another championship. I, I have to watch with him. That's going to happen. I have the Warriors in the sun. Hey, hey hold on. Hey. And I have the Warriors. Hey, hold on. Uh, Dale, Dale, don't, don't say nothing. Hey, hey, Dale. Dale. You want to hear Fluent, hey, hear Fluent Jr.'s yeah, uh, hey, Dale. basketball bracket? I need to make mine still. Hey, Dale. Yeah, no bracket. Dale, don't say nothing, Dale. Hey, Lo. Hey, Lo. What, what would your thoughts be on KD if he lost in the first round again? Uh, how does he perform? I don't care how he perform. I don't give, I don't give a damn to my, <laughs> if he won 50. Well, that's. I mean, you asked me. I'm. I'm trying to give you a right. A right. If he answer. loses, he, he, he plays. He plays like he plays like regular Kevin Durant, but they lose. And they, and they lose oh, in the well, first they, round. They, that's fine. I mean, if you play regular Kevin Durant, that means that probably Devin Booker probably sucks. No, no. If you're that guy, you're that guy. You get you get it done. Come on, man. 
That's a fact. That's a fact. I know you told him, Mars, but that's a fact. I'm, I'm, I'm. Anybody else chill? Chill time. If LeBron had went to the Phoenix Suns, who had went to the finals, and they lost in the first round, you think everybody be saying that? What well, he's not what, LeBron. What? He's not LeBron. <laughs> what are we right. saying? He's right, he not, he's not, not LeBron. LeBron. He's not LeBron. Oh, now you go, Dale. And there you go, Dale. So, Dale, he's saying he don't have no expectations because he don't think he that good. No, he said he's not LeBron. That's I just know. Right. He said he's not LeBron. I just know. I don't have. I don't have LeBron level expectations. That's a, hey, that's LeBron. supreme gaslighting. Take oh, no, like Dale thinks yeah, he's the best player in the world. That's but Dell. Dell is a low. They're two different people. That's Dell. Lo doesn't hold him to LeBron standards. I Dell do not hold him to LeBron. Has KD in a higher caliber than Lo does, so they hold. But, him. Yeah, so hold, on, I, hold on. But shouldn't we hold all the top players to that standard? Like the best. No, the no, no. So on, I, hold on. I, so I, hold on. Hold on. He, he, here's why that's a lie. You yell at Nikola Jokic. Never. Hold on. Here's why that's a lie, bro. And and chill town. Personally, me, me, me. You maybe have. I said I never heard you get on Jokic. Me. Oh, he does, me? he does, he does, he does. Yeah, me, I never heard hey, you. Just, you probably did it. You, you never like, heard me get on your Yeah, he, 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 he's without it out. out. He's without it out. Got on your Oh, right. That's what I'm saying. I never heard you like talk about your kitchen winning and all this stuff. I, me he doesn't go. He doesn't go into Giannis. He doesn't go into Giannis. Hey, Bill, you know, uh, you know why I don't go into Giannis? Because Giannis had a chance to cut bait and he stood tall and went and got the chip and he and, and he get ready to get another one this year. Jokic is doing the same thing. So if Jokic wins, you're no longer. No, he's standing tall. That's what he's standing tall, though. So if Jokic does get it, if Jokic does get it done, you're gonna stop the criticism. It's one thing if you stand tall. It's another thing you stand tall and keep getting the hell beat out of you. Like Dame. Mm. Okay. And that and hold on, and that's why we don't put Dame in that category. When I say the creme de la creme, I'm talking about hold on. You can go to any area. Now see this. Hold on. Now this is the this is the gap that I'm talking about, Floyd. You can go to any area in basketball for in, the, in Chill Town. Tell me the top three players in the 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s, the top three players in the league, the top three, that if they got beat in the first round, everybody be like, oh, no, that's cool. We ain't got no, we ain't got no. Who was the top three players in the 90s? Because if it's Carl Malone, 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 the answer is Carl Malone. Jordan Magic Jordan Magic 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 played, Magic played two years in 90s. Ticket. No, I'm saying free technically, but ticket. You bro, don't put Dame Lillard in your top tier because he ain't like that. He ain't built no, like I'm that. not putting Dame. Hold on, I'm not putting Dame Lillard on the level of LeBron, KD. And Giannis, he's not, I'm not. He, he's not on that level. How is Carmelo? So how is Carmelo not a top three oh, player tonight? Hey, I thought. No, 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 no. I'm I saying, hold on. Dame should be your top one of your tops because he's loyal to the Portland Trailblazers and losing loyally but, and killing. But he's just not. He so is of that. He's not of that caliber. Though. He's not. Let's be honest. No, he's oh, not that caliber at all. But all low talk about whoever stays and ride hard for their team and loses once you go so strong and brute and strength. But and the great one, hold on. The great players. ones didn't. Hakeem won. Okay, who's a third? Who's the who's a third in the night? Hakeem Mike and who in the night? Malone. Malone. Is that Malone? Oh, okay, so it is Malone. Malone. Okay. 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 So no, I don't, know, I don't know if it's Malone, uh, Chill Town. Who, who, else, who else would it be? They no, wrote some of his lizards. No, no, no. They wrote some of his lizards. No, no, no. I'm not going to say that. I think the I think the other greatest player in the 90s, it was, but you guys don't discount that. But, it, but I count, if you played in the 90s, I count it. But y'all are talking about, you guys are trying to say like the whole for the, 90s. Yes, for the yeah. From 1990 to 1999, that entire decade. If that's the case, why is Kobe? Why is Kobe? Hold on, this is what I think. Me, you might disagree with me. I think Charles Barkley is a better basketball player than Carmelo. All right, make sure it's set in stone. Make sure it's set in stone. No, no, it's set in stone. Come on. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. I wasn't fully listening, but in the 90s, we agree that it's it's Jordan and Olajuwon, right? Or one, two? Yes, 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 yes. Right. Okay, so three, I think three is very debatable because you have... No, it's not. No, it's yes. not. Carmelo yes, from 1990 yes, to 1999 was first team All-NBA the entire decade. Well, Marge, it's not know, a question. Marge, you want to know what's funnier? You want what's funnier, Marge? Five seconds ago, you were saying Pippen was better than him no, from 95. I never Marge. said that. I never no, said Marge, that he better than him. Marge, no, I didn't. Marge, think Don't about say how this, that. How this Marge. argument started about how somebody's standing 10 toes down. Oh, yeah. And then and then Charles Barkley left. And then he left. 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 He left
Can you make a case uh, for any of those dudes? No. Bucky's like, Bucky just ten toes down. Bucky's just ten toes down. Well, we're not Bucky's saying that. I'm just asking the question. Ten toes down. No, we're not saying that. I'm just saying no. I'm saying that. Do you trust Bucky actually Philly to go to the? Yes. That's oh, the no, I'm not saying that. Tell him. Uh, Adele, I'm not saying that. I'm saying this. If Charles Barkley, who asked to go over there, if they and lose in the first round, he's he's cooking asked to go to the Rockets? Bro, you're not hearing what I'm saying to you, bro. I'm saying the top player. To go to Houston, right? Hold on. All I'm saying is this. I want you. I just want you to understand what I'm saying. Uh-huh. The top Charles three players. Hold, 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 hold on. No, I just want you to listen to what I'm saying. The top three no, players he was, he was. In, the, in, the, in, the, in the 90s, the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, uh-huh. if they were to get beat in the first round, we would have different type of – we would look at them differently. And, He's you're, a fact. Saying, and well, you're saying that Carl Malone isn't a top three player in the yeah, because, No, because I think Charles Barkley, Barkley is better than Carl Malone. So the top three is MJ, Hakeem, and Barkley. Right, cool. There's no That's way, what I think. No way Barkley's okay. better than me. So, so Bar- hold on. Barkley's, how old? Bar- we got to remember, Charles Barkley was a league MVP as well. Mm-hmm. Charles, Hold on. Charles Barkley went to the NBA Finals as well. Mm-hmm. Right, he led his own team to the NBA Finals as well. So we ain't gonna say he didn't yeah. do that. He did yeah, all of these things as well. Yeah. So, okay. but hold on. so the only difference between him and KD is he went to an older on. team hold that mm-hmm. was over the hill. He went to an mm-hmm. older team. But I'm even Ooh. if you look at the two thousands, the top Charles three. Hold on, KD went to the top three. The top three players. The top three players. The top three players in the two thousands. If mm-hmm. they if they were on championship level teams, they got beat in the first round. We would be cooking their ass. All right. oh, no, no, that's good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the same stuff that Mars and Dell do. I mean, Dub do all the time when they when they when they cook mm-hmm. uh, Will Chamberlain. They cook no, Will Chamberlain okay. for not Mar- even getting to the playoffs. Mars, Mar- Mar- go there. No, 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 that's, 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 that's Kareem. That's Kareem. That's Kareem. That's Kareem. 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 Oh, Kareem. 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 They call Kareem. Excuse me. They call Kareem a fraud he wants to get because he missed the playoffs. That's Dub. That's Dub. I don't call him a fraud. That's Dub. Greet me. I just want to let you. The Charles Barkley you said was the third best player of the night. I just want to remind you of what happened. 1995, he blows a 3 1 lead to Hakeem and Clyde. No, I tell me, tell me, don't look at your computer. Tell me, everyone knows what Mars, happened. Everyone knows Mars, what happened. Mars, 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 Mm. And Chilton don't need boss reference for that. People know keep, this stuff. Keep, so, keep going. So he blew he blew a three one lead to Hakeem and Clyde Drexler in nineteen ninety five. Then mm-hmm. went back to Fe- went back to Phoenix the next year. Then lost in the first round to Phoenix the next year. And then mm-hmm. you know what he did? He joined Hakeem and Clyde Drexler, who he had just blown a three one lead to two years prior. Two years after they had just won a championship. Mm-hmm. So Phoenix with KD, yes, they were in the finals two years prior. Charles Barkley joined a team that had just won a championship, who he had just lost a three one lead to. Two years prior, and he went and joined that team. That's what Charles right. Barkley did. The third best player of the decade. I agree. Kevin Durant hasn't totally even done that. Kevin Durant hasn't even done that. Hold on. Do we cook? Hold on. But do we cook? Hold on. Do we cook Charles Barkley for that? Yes, we cook Charles Barkley do, for do not we? for underachieving in his era. We cook him for that. Right. I haven't heard you say everybody, everybody, about everybody it. Everybody just said he was the third best player in the nineties. Well, let's let's do let's do let's do a No, 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 no. You're not hearing me. You're not, you're right, you're not, you're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm saying that he was. He a, I'm saying he was the third best, best player, player and we crit. You're not hearing me, bro. I'm saying he was a third best talent player, and we cook him ticket. because hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We cook him because he underachieved. That's why we mm-hmm. cook him. In my opinion, he underachieved in Philly. He underachieved in in Phoenix, and then they were old in, in Houston. So I don't really, I can't really gauge that because they were all them dudes was old, but they still lost to who they lost to in, in the playoffs uh, in, in Houston. Um, Utah. They, they, Utah right? they, they lost to Utah. They lost to Utah. That's the they ironic know. part about it. Right. Mm-hmm. They, hold on. Hold on. In their Not prime, only did they, they, they lost to Utah. They lost to they, they, they lost John Stockton wasn't in his prime. <laughs> hold on. They lost to Utah in '97 in the West Finals, and then the next year they lost, the, they lost to Utah again in, in, in the first round. In the first round. In the first did. round. Here, yeah, let me right. that That's when they went back to the championship. That was the both years. It was in a. That was when Malone. And stop them with their peak going to the NBA finals. Stockton was not his peak. Stockton was not his peak. Stockton's peak was like six years earlier. But Stockton was not his you peak. Look, you the same dude that sat up there and said that, said that Stockton don't make great passes because he makes the, the best pass available. What is that? That's what's that going to do with his peak? They're going to do his peak. <laughs> Stockton oh. was not in his peak in 97 or 98. Here's another thing. Especially, especially, no. especially not. Especially not. That doesn't mean that he was in his peak. That doesn't mean it's his peak. Hey, another, another, another point, just to drive this home, uh, my hands are tied. 
you also are the ones who make arguments about players being better than someone else off of defense. Yet Barkley never made an all defensive team. There was a lot of times you were all defensive. I mean, a liability. While Malone was making not one, not two, not three, but four all defensive teams, and was clearly a better defender than um Barkley. Wait a minute! Don't leave that. I mean, don't leave out low. Low. Don't leave out the part that not only was he an all league defender, he was a first team all league defender. Let's make sure. Don't leave that part out. So by your logic. Go ahead, go. I got you know for you. Hey, Chilltown, I got, I got Ethan for you on that, Chilltown. So Charles Barkley took a less talented team to the NBA Finals than what Carl Malone did. He had way too much. He had way more talent. No, he did not. No, he did not. I was with you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can go down the list. I can go down the list. The 90 free sons. You know how talented that team was? Bro, hold on, hold on. You Hold on, you had Stockton, Malone, Russell, Howard Isley. You also had Big Dog Carr. Oh, you also had Howard Isley. Howard Isley. You had Barkley. You had, Barkley. you had Marley. You had Kevin, Kevin Johnson. Johnson. You had, like, come on. Who else on that team? Name somebody else. That's three. Name somebody else. Mark Westman's on that team. I think Steph was on that Suns team. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, he was. Hold on, you can tap now, Flo. Danny Ainge was on that team. Dan Marley was on that team. Kevin Johnson was on that team. Hold on, hold on. I'm giving you those three that that he had, but he's capping when he said when he said Danny Ainge. Danny Ainge was old as hell, and he know that shit. So that's Kevin. How old was Danny? How old was Danny? How old was Danny? Tom Chambers was on that team. Tom Chambers was on that team. Thirty-two or something. Let's let's. Hey, my hands are tied. Let me do this. Before Barkley got there, they were in the. They were consistently making the playoffs. They made the second round the year before. They were a fifty-five win team, and then like a year or two before that, they were in the conference finals. That was a consistent playoff team that made these runs before they added Barkley. Just like in hey, 1990, they were in the Western Conference Championship. Put me in the tight zoom, Ron. Put me in the tight zoom, Ron. Hey, look, I promise you one thing, though. I promise you one thing, my brother. And I want everybody in the whole world to understand this. They fooled by you because you got that computer in front of you. I literally, I literally. If you put down that computer low, I'll tear your ass up three to hard with it, boy. Straight like that. So let's 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 really quickly get to so Danny uh, Danny Ainge Danny Ainge was thirty three so he was on the older side but like I said I think Marley Marley which we mentioned Barkley Johnson Dumas uh, Sabalas Oliver Miller like that's that's enough. That they I was six people. Tom Chambers was on that team. Tom, Tom Chambers. Tom Chamber, he said Ainge is old, and Tom Chambers was the same age as Danny Ainge. They so, had well, they had six or seven guys so, in double. Yeah, that was that was a great, Utah that was a very good team. Four. And he did the same thing. Hold on. And he did the same six, thing. He did the same thing. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This one finna cook, y'all, right? So y'all say this, right? Mm -hmm. But they did the same thing. I'm telling you, Howard Isley was young. How? How? Howard Russell was younger. How? How? So they I want to get. So I'm this, sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Go ahead. I'm sorry, Lo. Go ahead. No, I'm no. Sorry, you go. I, was, I was just gonna say one went to the finals twice. One won two MVPs. One made more all NBA's. I mean, all defensive teams. Excuse me. Like, I did, like. This is basketball cool. reference. I'm gonna say this to you, right? Now, and mm. this is to me. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm gonna say this to you, right? And this is where y'all lying at. And this, this how I know Chilltown lying. Because at that time, at that time, hold on, hold on, Chilltown. At that time. Hold on. At that time, when they had the dream team, everybody knows that Charles Barkley was rated as one of the greatest players in the world, the top three players in the world at that time. No everybody knows that. That's yeah, not a question. Yeah. That's that's not a question. Sure. That is not a question. I am curious, though. I am curious, though. You said that Ainge was old at 34, but Malone, Stockton, and Hornacek, who are all 35, aren't old? No, not a peak, 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 peak. He said they were peak. Hold on, hold on. You said the Jazz team was better than the Phoenix Suns team. Yeah, that, I'm saying as a team they were better. They was whooping on dudes' asses, bro. They was winning 60 games them years. Yeah, you know why? Because Carl Malone was really good. Because Bart, he was really. Also, yeah, they also won six. They won 60 games in '93. I don't bro. like that. I'm caping for Carl Malone right now. I don't like it. <laughs> hey, but hold on. We got him over the hump. We got him over the hump to the finals. Them role players they had. They had great. And Chilltown can't lie about that. Those great role players. Byron Russell's ability to guard the perimeter. Howard Isley's ability to hit shots. 
Just so you know, as well as, game, as, well as Hornets, the team, they're 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 and, with, and, with, and with and with all and with all of that being said, in Game Six of the Western Conference Finals against Houston, Stockton went twenty five and twelve and hit a game winner to, to move. You the know ball. what? You know what? Ticket, you're right. You're right. Both of those teams were supreme, super duper teams, and that's what makes Jordan the goat because he beat both of them. All right, next. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm hey, fluent. All I'm saying to the fans is that you guys can't lie when I said they when they asked me. Was Charles Barkley a better player than Carl Malone? The whole he was renowned around the entire NBA as better than Carl Malone. Outside of Michael Jordan and Akeem Olajuwon, everybody in the nineties thought that Charles Barkley was the next dude, bro. Which is That's crazy that. to me because what we're talking but, about uh, is we're talking about. Which but is am crazy I lying? Because, Hold on, but you tell. Am I lying? That is am narrative. Lying? Some of that is narrative no, too. No, 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 no. Fluent. I just want to ask Chilltown one question. Am tough. I lying, Chilltown? From a talent standpoint, everybody thought that Barkley was better. Thank than Thank you. That's all. Even I'm though, even though from a even though from a from a production standpoint, it wasn't a question. Malone is the only guy. Malone is the only guy to make first team All NBA the entire decade. He's the only one Jesus. of all those guys. He's the only one. None of those other dudes did it. Elijah Jordan. Even though Jordan ended up, ended even though Jordan ended up retiring, Malone is the only one to do that. Now in 1990. When they lost, I think they lost to the Golden State Warriors in 1990. So they lost in the first round. And nobody was really talking about Carl Malone and John Stockton because, again, like me and Lowe had this conversation, we didn't really get to see them that much. And it was Utah. And nobody really paid that much attention. Same thing in 1991. Now, in 1992, when they lost in the Western Conference Championship, now the chatter starts to get louder because, wait a minute, this team is actually good and they should be getting close. Then in 93, when they lose again, now the, now the chatter starts getting louder. Why can't they get there? And then they get smoked in the Western Conference Championship in 94 in five games to the Houston Rockets. What's the problem with this team? All we keep hearing is, yo, next year, next year. Then in 95, when they lose in the first round again, even though the series only went five games, they had shortened it. They, they had shortened it to five games. But they lose in five games to the Rockets again. Now the chatter is starting to get louder with Malone. Then the next year, when they lose in seven games to Seattle, Yo, maybe these guys just aren't good enough. And then the next year, when they finally get over the hump, they finally get over the hump in 97 when they beat the Houston Rockets. And then they just they basically walk to the finals in, in 98. They were just better than everybody. But then by, by 98, 99, by 98, 99, they were pretty much they, – they had been past what they were, even though they were still good. I mean, Malone won the league MVP that year, and it was a lockout shortened season. But San Antonio was coming. But with all of that being said, Carl Malone at that point from 1990 to 1999 – he was first team all NBA and he was first team all defense four of those nine years. So a first team all league defender, mm. and a, n not only was he first team all league, a first team all no. league defender for four that's, of those nine years. For that's four not of those true. So tell me what years he wasn't first team all NBA. First he, he, was team only, all he was only he was only first team all NBA three times in his career. So so. Jesus. Who was on yeah, the first see, team All NBA three times Carmelo, in their career? Carmelo. I thought, I thought you said all, 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 all defense. I thought you said all, all defense. All defense. So in, 1990, so, so in so in nineteen ninety, first, first so, team three times. Right. So in in in, 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 in so instead of instead of four times, how many how many did Charles Barkley make? It, Zero. 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 Now, in terms of... <laughs> it, 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 listen, Barkley's not the defender. It's no one defense, it's alone. But I will, I'll tell you this. I, I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised if I said this, and I know it's stats, but How? I did not know. Did you know that Barkley... For his career, because he's playing behind Elijah Wan, fool. They used to do it by position. Elijah Wan was going to get the nod. Hey, look. This is, where, this is where... This is where... Hey, hold on. This is where... Hold on, hold on. Who was playing behind Elijah Wan? Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Hear what I'm saying. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, Dale. See, Lowe's doing all that laughing, but this is why he's a legend of losing. He doesn't know anything without that computer. Without basketball reference, he doesn't know a damn thing. Because, see, here's the thing. The reason why... Hold on. The reason why Charles... Hold on. The reason why Charles Barkley wasn't them first teams is because he was playing behind Elijah Wan. And when you have a player great like Eli that was great as Elijah Wan was, who I said was better than Charles Barkley, and you and he gets the nod. Remember, they were doing it by positions then. Now it was positionless. Then it was Chuck didn't play Hakeem's position. No, he was not. No. So who was making all NBA team? Why was Patrick Ewing not making first No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Charles Barkley came into the league in nineteen. David Robinson and Shaq were back in first team. Charles Barkley came into the league in nineteen. What eighty four? Correct me if I'm wrong, Chill, because you know this stuff. Nineteen eighty four, and he didn't play with Akeem Olajuwon until nineteen ninety eight. There was fourteen years, he, and he did not he's play right, behind Olajuwon. No, he's, 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 he's saying he's saying he's saying he they were in the same oh, no. position. Olajuwon was center. No, Olajuwon was center. Barkley was losing. Barkley was losing those. 
to, to Malone is who he was the losing. The only time he was a power forward was next to Ralph Sampson. Oh, was playing the power forward for a lot of them years. In the, in the, in the, the 90s, was he wasn't. Line, in man. the 90s, he wasn't. In the 90s, he wasn't. Not after he Ralph Sampson to... left, after those yes, first couple of years. He came, exactly. he came get his ass with Ralph Sampson, bro. He came Once in get his ass with Ralph Sampson. went to the Making the finals in his third. This this conversation is going on for too long, and it's starting to get stale. Let's go ahead and jump to these Super Chats. Uh, Come on, El Host. Super Chats, El Host. Uh, Christopher D said, I still want PC boxing, chill town and or fluent. Make it happen. Y'all know <laughs> with the hashtag moderator. I don't know nothing about boxing. I'm a boxing fan. I'm a boxing fan. No, that's him. Know. I know nothing about boxing. I'm, a bo- I'm definitely a boxing fan. No PC doubt. boxing coming. You watch MMA chill town? No, I don't. Ah, damn. When he when that, when he said PC boxing, I think they want us to put the gloves on with each other. Nah, he's talking about nah, he's talking about, he, he talking about he to start boxing. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I I know boxing and chill town knows boxing. PC boxing coming soon, no lie. Uh, speaking speaking of which, Dub Mar Six Clark said thoughts on Player's Choice MMA two eighty seven was crazy. Talk to us, Dub. Uh, sure, I would like to do it with Mookie. I'm not gonna lie, if we have the time for it, I'll be open for hey, it. I'm getting back to MMA right now. It's hey, been, hey, bro, uh, I want you, to say you, know, Dub, you know, Dub was a wrestler, y'all. Dub was a wrestler, so he can speak on that from experience. Oh, you, were, you was a wrestler? Yeah. yeah I, 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 can speak, I can speak on it very well, actually. Hey, y'all, I, I wanted to set something up. You're right? right? right. 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 fighting the family, right? Lo, he's talking about hard wrestling. You ain't you ain't know Dub from Alabama? Mm-mm. Hey, Ron, is, is it legal if we have a money what? tournament on here? Is it legal if we have a money tournament against the against the uh against the viewers where they bet like we have a big tournament and the viewers since they know so much they come up and and, and debate against me, debate against Chill, debate against uh Low, debate against Fluent, and they put money up and we'll put like a hundred dollars a bet and then if they if they win they they keep moving on and they go through all the guys. Can we do that? Run it. Running for the hills ticket. Yo, drop Tom, so king of the court with you. Don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah. Hey, dog, hey, dog. Hey, dog. It looks, it looks like Bam Adebayo is about to be exposed today, boy. Kind of Yo, crazy. chill. I'm watching it right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking yeah, what I've been weird. seeing. I'm not gonna. Uh oh. I told you. We got a Trey Young jersey on the way. Uh oh. Are, are, are we for real doing this? The game, the game just started. You just pulled up. To the, the, the game literally just started. Like, what are we talking about? Hey, Ron, man, I want to apologize. Man, you were right. Trey Young better than Luca, bro. I'm so sorry, bro. Hey, 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 yeah, the hooks, won, the hooks won the trade. The hooks won the trade. Hey, Ron, remember, I was the only one riding with you on that pick today. No doubt. Ticket, I, Ticket, we be the only one. No, I, 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 seen, I seen the thought Fluent Junior, Fluent, Fluent Junior picked Atlanta, so. Okay, that's right. Now, if you lose now, Ron, I'm going to come in here now. <laughs> the the Double Dribble podcast with D&D said, worst take, 90 Hakeem was a power forward. <laughs> Egregious take. <laughs> they didn't have a – hey, hold on. Chill, they didn't have a center? No. Yeah, Hakeem, Who didn't have Hakeem. a center? In ninety, in the nineties? No, they had Otis Thorpe was the four, Elijah was the five. Oh damn. Come on now. Did, did you need boss reference for that? Or did you just know that? That's I common, did know that. That's common sense. Okay. Uh, I thought so too. I thought so too. Hall of Fame Mike said, Do you guys see Wimby having a historic rookie campaign really? next year? And where do you guys oh, project his ranking among stars in the league? And also Ben Carroll. They'll, 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 they'll find a way to put whatever his stats are into historic. Into historic. Wemby, <laughs> Wemby will be starting center trainer's bench because he's going to be hurt for 80, 60% of the time. Oh my God. Jesus. Jesus. He don't even got no wow. injury history. You say that and he don't have an injury history like that. No, I just don't understand how you be saying I, stuff like that, yo. That's, that's I've never been wrong. Hell. He doesn't you have an injury word, history. Word. What? Lot, Zion came with an injury history. He didn't. He didn't have any injury history. Y'all Greg Oden had. had a, Greg Oden had an injury history. Like these, the, Kevin Durant did not have an injury history when he came in the league, and he was real thin. Giannis didn't have an injury history when he came in the league at six eleven, and he was real thin. So this guy does not have an. This guy does not have an injury history. We don't know what this dude is going to look like in terms of injury, but in terms of his game, I think he's the future of basketball. Me too, Miami bro. Is bugging right now. I saw Gabe Vincent hit the side yeah, of the Yeah, Miami's bug. I, gotta, I, gotta, I, do I have told to y'all play. Miami was going to come out flat tonight. I told y'all that. Trey Young was going to come and hit them dudes with a triple whammy out this year. Hey, they could they could just be on, on what Dub was talking about. They could be throwing this. They might want to win Milwaukee. Same thing could happen to the Lakers tonight, like I told y'all. Same thing. They might want to win Milwaukee. Lo, you about to bounce? Yeah, I'm about to bounce. I got to watch this game. 
Man, yeah, get yeah. Kyle Lowry off my TV. I swear yeah, to God. He is, he's uh, bad. He's bad. Nah, he's he's playing playing Kyle Lowry, that's an NBA champion. What he did make a good Lowry. layup, though. He did make a good layup, though. Anyway, well, well, anyway, Ron, as you were saying, yeah, Ron, where, you, where can we find you at? Uh, I'm about to be on playback.tv. Um, I thought he was going to say Playboy. If you want to win a one No, that was Law, I know you should be in the mansion. You're going to have, 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 have buns and biscuits over there. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Lo, stop acting like you ain't with that, okay? Don't act like we don't know who you are, Lo. Buns and biscuits. Stop acting like you ain't with that. I ain't no When is I when have I gotten this like this title of a nasty guy? Like what's going on? Who said anything about nasty? You said Playboy. It's the time of the table. Nobody said you was nasty. Are you sure you asked the question? Yes. Lo, we lo, we nasty one type of cake over there. Nasty, no. Playboy, yes. Okay, stop acting okay. like that. All right, all right, all right. All right. We are, when, I, when I touch down in Atlanta, we know exactly what time it is. Oh, wow, man. Don't disappoint and I, us, and uh, Do not and, disappoint and, us. And I don't even look for it. I'm, I'm not looking for it. But if I was in the market, if I was in the market, I'm talking oh, about okay. low. Oh, sure, man. If, I, if I was in the market, I'm looking for low. Because low know where they at. Uh-huh. All right, Damn man. a steak dinner, low server cake dinners. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So on, that, on that note, yo, I think are we are y'all doing something after the um, games? We're probably gonna be live after to do a recap with Shaq. Right, I'll, 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 I'll join, I'll join, I'll join. Be okay. easy, low, low right. down is in the house. Take it light, brother. Dub, dub. Oh, my bad. I'm watching the game. Yeah, your, your team sucks, man. No, yeah, team. it's not good right now. <laughs> oh, hey, man. yo, I told y'all, man. I told these dudes I was going to run. I'm the only one roll with you on that run. Same thing going to happen with the Fakers tonight. It's the first yo, quarter. Jeez. Lakers lose. That's going to be crazy. Hey, All right, come on. Let's, first let's keep running through these Super Chat. Timothy Hobbs said, Big Ox says nobody can guard Fox on the Warriors. Okay, cool. Who in the hell is going to guard Curry? Kings don't play a lick of defense. Series ends in six. Mm. Yeah, it does end in six. That's fair. That's fair. I don't got time to argue with y'all about the Kings. I've been doing this shit for six months straight. And I've been right the whole time. So what So what does that show? What does that show? If I've been right for this long, I'm going to keep being right, right? No, you're bound to lose. Nah, don't worry, Bobby. Nah, I get this. Nah, nah, don't, 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 <laughs> don't worry, Bobby. I get the same treatment, man. Don't worry about it. If, if the Warriors lose to the Kings, Big Ox is going to be coming in here. <laughs> you talking about Big Ox? I'm saying, like, man, I'm saying, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to be humble, trying to be humble. But if, if we win and y'all keep pressing me, then I got to be obnoxious. Uh-huh. Just be obnoxious. They don't deserve the respect, man. Exactly. I'm Kings obnoxious all the time. Be, but I they're like they're the underdogs is crazy. Uh, d- d- dub is just toxic. They're disrespectful, so you got to be disrespectful back, bro. It is what it is. No, you got saying, Mars hey. over here using hand-picked stacks, and they're riding for that. It's crazy. Uh, Dub, you got cooks. Just move on, lad. Bro, you <laughs> act... Yo, move on, lad. It's crazy. Move on, lad. Nah, lad. Nah, lad. Saying, lad that saying, was a like, nasty, nasty, saying, nasty if, if, stat, if, And you know it. I know, lad. Is lad is meant is lad meant to be disrespectful? Because when it's said with an English accent, it sounds so disrespectful. Where um, where I'm from, no one says lads. They That's say no... bruv. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Come on, bruv. bruv. Come on. Oh, bruv. it's like Craig David. Hey, but but, fluent, right. but fluent, I'm saying like I know, what? I know, I know by no stretch of the imagination, you you see it happening, and I understand that. But once we do beat the Warriors in six, is there is is anybody gonna be like, oh, okay, I was wrong, or is it just gonna yes. be like, oh, yes. move on, move on? Now, now, then y'all, y'all, gonna be, then y'all gonna be like, oh, we well, all about to get swept from Memphis. Here's my proof. Here's my proof. Here's my proof. Never going to stop. Watch, watch, Jay. When I'm wrong, when I'm wrong, do I come on our show and say, you know what? I said this and I was wrong, and I and I and I admit it. Yes. There you go. Okay. What? what go. Okay. So, what about next round when we really match up with the Lakers? We'll see. Are you the gonna Lakers? come on and say you the were wrong? Going in the first round, no, man. I'm what are not, you talking? I'm, I don't. I don't. I think that's Damn, where, if, we, if, if we see the Lakers in the second round. Honestly, I think that's where it stops for us. All right. <laughs> All right, super chats, Ron. Super chats. Let's super chat it. Tyrone Young again said, <laughs> "Dub said if Braun loses in the finals, it's bad for his legacy. But Steph's legacy is cemented." They're, they're fighting for different things. LeBron's mm-hmm. fighting for ghost days. Steph is fighting for what top ten? Top ten. Uh, he's fine. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all seen time. that? If Steph loses in the first round, everybody gonna cook him. But if KD loses, it's cool. People are gonna cook KD. 
People are gonna cook. No, KD they're gonna cook crazy. KD. Absolutely, I'll be yeah. the first one. The only one that's not cooking. Yeah. That's, 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 that's Dell. That's Dell. Dell doesn't represent yeah. the world. No, yeah. I'm saying him and Lou said it. Oh my God, Jimmy. They still don't represent the world. Hey, Jimmy, what is wrong with your heat? <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> I told y'all this playoff Jimmy thing. Oh, you just saw you just saw Jimmy miss the layup. Yes. He about to turn. He about to turn up. Hey, 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 hold on, Dub. Or they're taking your advice. And they're ducking the Celtics so they can go play and get the hell beat out of them by the frauds, which you said was the Bucks. Hey, I think they should. Oh, do that. they do something I would like, like that. I will actually like that, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. And then if they do beat the Bucks, that's just more fuel to the fire, baby. The chat nah. is done. Imagine Giannis losing in the first round. Hey, as long as Trey Young don't have uh Hey, ticket. If Giannis lose in the first round, woo! I might have to, I might have to cook him something crazy. <laughs> Hey, it, 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 don't, it, it don't matter if he loses. At least, at least, I'm trying to tell you, he definitely losing in the second round. Now they sweep in Miami. They play Miami. They sweep. Miami. Hey, hey, Ron. What's what's up? Up? All right, Cavs and six. Cavs and six. What's, what's next, Ron? What you got, Ron? What, what size? What size young jersey do you, does your kid need? <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he two years old. Get the smaller size you can get. Uh, Actually, hey, get, get it a couple sizes bigger so he can so he can grow continue to wear it. it for uh, the next year. Elder want to bet on the Lakers. Elder want to bet on the Elder. Sit down. Yeah, Elder said, "Tell my dude Ticket to put his money on the on the Wolves tonight. I'll cover any Elder, bet." I guarantee you, the only one up here willing to put your money on the Lakers tonight. Oh, is, put some money on the Lakers. I got three dollars. <laughs> I put I put some money on. How many that? times you gonna bet oh, that well, same three dollars? I always thought like that. We, we all, all right, all right, all right. Let's pay some bills. Let's pay some bills. Three words. <laughs> All right, Take we, we, could go, do a, we could do a hundred. Hey, Ron, you put you put that boy in the Trey Young jersey. They gonna think that's Trey Young. Three words. Three words <laughs> that are always. I've, I've, I've always heard. Take the three words that are hair. Five words that'll put that'll shut you up. Put some jack on it. That's how we get to the bottom of that. Put Trey Young with better hair. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Uh, Big Jeff said, "Is it fair to say that Luca and Dame should not be All NBA by not making the playoffs?" Yeah, it's fair. Hey, that's fair. That's very that's fair. fair. That's fair. That's fair. Just. just, just just so you know, Tone, and, and I, I think I said this to you before, Tone, since the decade that I was born, Anthony Davis is the only guy to make first team all NBA since the decade that I was born. And he was an all league defender without making the playoffs. Nobody else has done it since the decade that I was born. So in that Kareem many years, wasn't, Kareem wasn't first team in 75. Once again, 76. since the decade that I was born. Oh, since, since the, dec okay. since my, the decade my, that my, I was born, Anthony Davis is the only guy to make first team all NBA. Without his team making the playoffs, yeah. and he was old. I thought you were born in the fifties. My fault. My fault. I'm a little bit younger than that, bro. I ain't that old. <laughs> nah, I'm not that old, brother. Nah. Damn. In the seventies or the eighties? You're seventy, and Mars is seven. Uh, I'm got, like, damn. Got, damn. Yeah. Yeah. But the, <laughs> yeah. but the average, the average, yeah. Yeah. The average, average yeah, we got all average. the yeah. Wait, wait. What y'all telling me is that Trace nobody up here watched Will and Bill Russell live? That's what we're saying. I don't think anyone could. I don't think Russell live. I don't think so. Uh, we only got to listen to Bob Cousy, man. Mm. All right, here we go. go. Wiss said KD dropped 51 on Kawhi in Toronto while Steph was out on Toronto the year they won the chip. They beat yeah, them. yeah. He dropped lost 51 and lost. Yeah, he dropped lost 51 game. and lost the game. Yeah, in a losing it. effort. Yeah, it means won. nothing. When that, you that, game, that game went to OT, I think, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. but they lost what happened to OT, uh, Morris? I mean, they, they ended up losing because KD's right. not that guy. But they Ooh, that's all that matters. Exactly. Mm -hmm. he could, you know what he can do with that 51 points? He can take it and... Sh Turn it sideways. <laughs> <laughs> the Double Dribble Podcast with D&D &D again said ticket. So who would Aaron Gordon replace on the East All-Star team? Also, <laughs> bad takes. Here's a recent one. Nets and Sixers going to seven. Drew. Yeah, that was wild. That was a bad take. And Aaron mm -hmm. Gordon is definitely not an all-star in any conference. But, yeah. True. Keeping it pushing, Blah Bakerson said, you can't just hate KD off the Warriors. You can't just take KD off the Warriors without replacing him with another max contract. Exactly. One-on-one -on -one player. They exactly. keep their, They keep the same squad and they'll lose. But they wouldn't. They would add someone because they lost in the finals. That's the point. Thank you. Yo, it's, it's it's hard it's hard to argue uh KD with Dale. Every every action has an equal or greater reaction. Mm. 
Okay. They can't that, go, was, that, was, that, was, that was that was Newton's second law or go to go to yeah go go to your science class. They can't <clears> they can't bring back the same unit. No, they can't. No, they, After they what can't. just happened, they can't just run it back. No. Not if they, they can have a max money player. Absolutely not. No. But who was they going to get in twenty in twenty seventeen? It doesn't need to be a star. They could have just got a bunch of great high level role players because their bench wasn't that good. It wasn't. It wasn't. No, when, when they got KD, when, let's, when let's, they up, look at it. Oh, when they got way. KD, when they when got KD, look at it this way: they were so good that everybody knew they were going to win, and they wiped the floor with everybody. So, if they got someone who was not as good, they're still probably winning. They're just maybe not as easy. Like what they lose one game that whole playoff. Yeah, you're man. a believer in psychological edge, right? To a certain extent. Yeah, LeBron James went uh, three one on them boys, bro. They wasn't beating them. No, but maybe they who it depends who they bring in. Draymond nah. said it. Draymond made it clear. We wasn't yeah, we wasn't he said as the same unit, which again proves yeah, but the we, point. we know how we know how Draymond else. be we know how Draymond be talking yeah. about it, bro. Um okay. hey Steph Steph had a history of not showing up in the finals, man. So I'm just re- rolling yeah. with that. Sure. Yeah. Right, man. All right, here we go. Shane Howard with the next super chat said if Ronnie James goes to my Orlando squad. Teaming up with Paulo, do you guys think it could be a good fit? P.S. Don't roast my squad. I know we ain't it. I think we should be looking for much better options than Bronny. James. Yeah, Bronny's gonna be a serviceable guard, probably backup role player. De Anthony Melton. That, that's what he'll be. De Anthony Melton. He's a good player. Just uh, I don't know if he's ready. And then and then don't forget, guy. wherever he goes, Dad's coming. So that's gonna screw up the unit even more. Well, first yeah. of all, let's get to the bottom of the fact that he's not coming anywhere anytime soon. He needs to go to school. So it's not like this is happening next year. Right. He's it's not the year ready. After, it's the year after, right? But I'm not even ready to do that. I think that he needs to you go. Don't to think school. he comes out after one year? I, I'm I sure. Think he, probably, I think I, he will. I'm sure he will, but I think that he needs to go to school. He's not ready. I haven't watched much of him over the last year. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I haven't watched much either, to be honest. I think he's a lot better than what Tone is. I think he's going to be better than what Tone is giving him credit for, but I don't think he's ready yet. Mm -mm. You think he's what, like a starter? Is he an all star? I think he could be a starter. I think he could be. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Trey Young is playing very well. You've watched him more, so if you say that, I'll. I'll, That's fine with me. Trey Young is playing very well right now. Of course he is. That's okay. Second half. Second half. Ron, I understood. I I wasn't mad at your pick, man. Next super chat, Big Ox TV. I mean, Big Big O TV said tickets is box office, but he makes his points off ESPN type narratives and pulls out baseless info when asked direct questions. Plus, he thinks yelling is a dub. ESPN, ESPN. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. That's a gag gag on live because how I'm on ESPN, I'm always online. I'm always on YouTube. I'm always live stream. I'm always on YouTube. Think about that. You uh, are. No, that, you do be well. You do be aware of the stuff Stephen A. Smith and them say. You bro, be that's because. Hold on. Hold on. That's because, 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 because you have the. He he's aware of it. No, no. I'm saying you have the ESPN app, and this stuff comes up on your screen, and your notifications. You know what I'm saying? So you may look at it, but most of the time, I'm giving my own narrative. Those guys steal from me. Those guys steal mm. from us and don't give us credit. These are facts. Yeah, we mm. have on that. We have that. Hey Ron, hey Ron, hey Ron, I got to bounce, brother. Good to see All y'all. Right, I will see y'all tomorrow, at twelve o'clock. I will be in effect. All right, yeah, yeah. We'll catch you Come on, ten more. I got ten more minutes. Yep, yep. Let's do it. P Mac the Great said, "If you had a game seven to win and your team had twelve peak versions of one player." Who would you choose? Like KD being your point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward? Uh, oh, um, Kevin Garnett. Hmm. What? I like Kevin Garnett. I think I'm going to go with Brian. Yeah, he's too small. Just give me the ultimate winner, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Check you out, Dub. Yeah. Dub basketball. Kyle Lowry just got an one. Thank God. Who, who no, you're so far for? behind is crazy. Hey, Dub, was your was your was your uh, room always like dark like this, or you just turned it darker when the when the heat started losing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not trying to clown. I'm serious. Like, no, I'm like, am I, am I, am I tripping right now? <laughs> no, no, no. I usually use my TV light. I mean, my computer light. But here, that's better. I'm trying. Right. I'm trying to show love to everybody because it's 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 a stressful week for me right now. You know. 
Elijah, oh, Elijah one's the right answer. Yeah, Hakeem yeah. and KG were the two I was picking between. Yeah. I went with KG because I think he's more comfortable guarding on the promo. Yeah, why do you keep sending the same super chat? Dude? I don't you know. know. I, I appreciate it. You know, Listen, keep, 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 keep Elijah one, when I when I'm when, uh, the Elijah one be knocking down threes, so you know, two K is what matters because I simmed it. Mm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next super chat from my man Sai. He said, "So Dirk didn't win. So Dirk didn't win on Braun Watch because we haven't won." Fire, I'm with that. Well, actually, I mean, he, beat, he beat him, so that's different. Yeah, he, be, he beat, he just beat he LeBron. He just denied the LeBron's watch. That's yeah, what he unfortunately, did. unfortunately that one counts. Yeah, sorry. LeBron's Angie like Carr him. said, "PC getting catfish. That's when you know you made it." Laughing emoji. Rings aside, which LeBron performance was greater? 2007 Game Five or 16 Game Seven? Oh, seven. Oh, is that, that's the game. Talking about against the Pistons, right? Yeah. yeah. Pistons, right? Oh. I thought it was going to say 07 in the finals. Yeah, about, oh, yeah. say, oh, <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't get to a fifth game. but yeah, I would say game six, uh, Daniel Gibson. That was the best one. Oh, no. <laughs> facts, hey, facts. That's a fact. <laughs> uh, game seven. I mean, game five, LeBron. Game seven, LeBron wasn't playing that well off, uh, scoring-wise. He's in his start making freeze until Golden State put Festus Azili on him in a pick and roll. Yeah. Hey, speaking speaking of that, speaking of that uh, 07 though, when did Low walk back? The Luca thing that was just happening. Do you know? No, yeah, he 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 just wore that back recently. He apologized. To uh, he don't like. He, like he needs to apologize Tyrese to you guys. He shouldn't roll. He should. You guys, you guys are. He should stand so. tall. Ten toes down, I believe, is the saying. He should stand <laughs> ten toes down. That's 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 no, no, he shouldn't. No fluent. That's that's no. No, he's, stick now, he's, now he's now he's more fluent. There's no hold on. There's no new information. There's no, no actually, you're actually. comparing 23 Luca to, to age 23 Luca to age 23 LeBron. Whatever you think, nothing changed. What changed for him to change? No, he, he got smarter. Well, he, he, said, to well, he, he, said, like, he realized that was right. He said uh, Luca working off ball was really bad. So that's what really made him change his mm. opinion. Damn it. Trey Young just got a turnover. Shit. Yes, sir. That's true. <laughs> ah. All, all it is is when, as you get a little older, you dude. learn how to properly dude. use your think box. Uh, and see, but that's what I keep telling these dudes. I keep saying you guys are doing all this stuff right now, and it's on tape. So, like, I'm telling you, in five years, you're gonna have a different opinion. You'll be uh, people will be throwing it back in your face. Watch. I've already changed my mind on a lot of things. I said that, there you go. I was first on the show. There more, that's because you're more fluent. <laughs> yeah, you're I more haven't. fluent. I haven't changed my mind on a lot. I'm just yes, afraid. you have. You change. I saw you change your mind on on Cooper, Cooper Cup. Cup. Cooper Cup. Dub, other than yeah. that, but dub, that's because you hard headed. I'm yeah, not gonna dub, lie. You, you just you just like to your head, head is anyway. hard. I'm not gonna lie. Mars Mars started agreeing with me more, and then he started becoming more fluent. Oh my! Okay. He was arguing me about the same points uh, a year ago, but now he's agreeing with me. That's because I was a stat guy a year ago. Uh, you still you part up per seventy five over some bullshit. That you still a stats guy, bro. I was uh, I was asked to bring up the numbers. I just got them. You're welcome. Right, 20 and nine. Next, nine. Next, next super chat. Lego Rover said, "Bobby fluent, chill. He's not here, so Bobby and fluent. What do you guys think about low walking? Oh, oh, just there you go. There you go. Hey, I, I'm not a super chat because <laughs> I got older. I learned how to use my think box." <laughs> Darren Faust said, "I think the Nets versus Sixers series is slept on. I really don't have an idea how the 76ers stop Bro the Brooklyn wing depth. I actually like the matchup of." Dorian Finney Smith. Smith versus Harden for the for Brooklyn and the title in the tilt series for Brooklyn. Yeah. And it could tilt the series for Philly, Brooklyn. Philly and five. Philly and five. Philly and five. Uh hopefully James Harden don't choke up. Philly and five. I think they I had think John even, Wall, even man. I don't know. John Wall may sweep him. Yo, that's that's what I, I was thinking that while he was reading it. But this is the thing though, Doug. With this matchup, I think even if Harden pulls a classic choke move. I still think the Philly, Philly will pull it out in six. If James Harden lays a net against Brooklyn, I'm coming for all of you guys. Not you guys, but yeah, the chat. I'm saying, don't come for me because I'm you know where I'm at with that. <laughs> you Khalil Young said, in which order of these guys would be better in today's game? Allen Houston, Mitch Richmond, Dale Ellis, and Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice, Mitch Glenn Richmond, Rice. Allen Houston, Dale Ellis. Yo, Glenn Rice and Glenn Rice? I, I love Mitch, but I think Glenn Rice and Allen Houston today would be. Crazy. Allen Houston had a strap. Um, I think Allen Houston will probably Glenn be Rice the best out of those Houston? guys. You think Allen Houston be better than Glenn Rice? I think so. Not I, by I, 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 I'm, I'm, actually going, I'm actually going Mitch Richmond. Mm. Um, 
And then Glenn Rice, Allen Houston, Dale Ellis. Yeah, I could, I could flip Mitch and Glenn Rice. No. I could flip them. Just, just because I think Mitch's athleticism, like he was quicker and more athletic, I think that would give him a, a good – I think that would give him an edge in today's game. Yeah, I got that, but I like – I I think I got Glenn. But I, I see – I definitely see the Mitch Richmond argument. Mm. Bob's a casual. He's supposed to be a Queens fan. That was a good no, they aren't. No one, people aren't sleeping on the Celtics. No, they're, uh, like, they're like the second favorites in the East. No, 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 no. They're 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 legitimately talking about their inconsistency and and their coaching, which are legit concerns. You could send me a hundred. <laughs> hundred what? You can he wants hundred dollars to get Dub to show his feet on camera. Uh, oh, oh, this ain't on, this ain't OnlyFans. Yeah, Dub got ten fans. She <laughs> wild and wild. She yeah. do her thing, thing. Oh, you feel me? No, you, <laughs> you start a, You gonna start a, a feed OnlyFans? Oh, uh, not Dubiana. Why not? Dubiana, <laughs> the Dubonaires. Hey, people willing to pay. People willing to pay, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. I Look at Bam being a versatility oh, merchant. I tell people all the time. I would never. I would never be mad at a woman for going grabbing that bread, man. Please let's get back to Boston. Right. <laughs> Zudo, <laughs> Zudo said, got into this debate with some co-workers over this topic of all the could have been the GOAT if they never got injured, guys. Who had the most potential? Magic Johnson, probably. Oh, okay. Okay. Magic, Magic's okay. the easy answer because we lost some of his prime. I would say Len Bias. That was not really an injury. Um, but that that would have been and <laughs> or be a nasty with these picks. <laughs> I I Lem never Bias. saw I never saw Lambias play at basketball, sir. Yeah, uh, so um, I would I would say Grant him again. Not, who else? Who else? Larry Bird. We Larry Bird played half of his You're career. naming guys who already have elite level careers. That's like you're talking about being the greatest of all time. Like, god yeah, damn. These guys who I don't see Brandon Roy level. at his best being the best, Derrick Rose at his best. Shit, Dwight Listen, Howard. There's nothing, his there's Grant nothing. Hill. Grant Hill is the answer. Grant Hill, T Mac, all those guys, like they could have played 20 years and they wouldn't be in that conversation. Penny, all those guys, I don't they're not in that conversation. Yeah. Grand, just, Grand Hill, Grand oh, Hill so the, easy, the easiest, look, the easiest answer there. is the guys who are in that top 10, top 15 who got hurt because they were the ones who are even hurt. They're in that conversation. So, well, yeah, the, uh, the correct answer is no one who got their career ended by injuries was ever going to become the best. Hey, even Kareem. Bill Russell, Bill Russell was hurt in the 1958 finals and they lost if he was 12 and 0. Kareem, Kareem, Kareem could have been even better. What he, didn't he break his hand or something when he punched that dude in the face? Like he, yeah, he yeah, could yeah, that's self inflicted. That's self inflicted. Yeah, self inflicted. Oh, but... oh, oh, my bad. Chat saying it right now. Kobe. What if he never tore his Achilles? Mm. If he never tore his Achilles. His longevity yeah, was. Yeah, Kobe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. One. Hey, let me. Can I ask you a quick question, guys? Because I'm about to. Uh, I'm about to embark on this thing that I'm scared to do. But I want. I want your y'all opinion. If you say yes, I do it. If you say no, I won't. So what, I got. I got this thing about Kobe, and that. So this part is true, that he was battling uh, high tech pharmaceuticals over the name Black Mamba. Oh. And he was about to testify that they put opioids in their drug. They're fighting over the name because obviously he's the Black Mamba and they're selling their drugs as Black Mamba. And that he was going to testify in two days. And one of the things he was going to testify to was that they were putting opioids to get people addicted to their medication for their pharmaceuticals. Um, and two days later, he goes up in a helicopter and we never hear from Kobe again. Mm -hmm. And the pharmaceutical company is being accused of funny business. Um, is that is that a story we should pursue? Not we. That should be pursued. You think? I'll if never wanna, write. If you want to die, yeah, probably. I'll never yeah, write anything like that off, bro. This this world is an evil place, man. I, that, yeah, I just I just got, got it sent to me yesterday because they know that we're doing like little thirty for thirty things um, coming up. So I I wanted to. You think that? Would you read that? Would you or would you watch a ten minute? Like thirty for thirty type of thing. I will entertain that one hundred percent. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A thousand percent. I would definitely. definitely. Yeah, I love my conspiracies. You know. I like conspiracies too. I think there's some truth in it. I think sometimes people just kind of overreact, but I think there's a lot of truth in some conspiracies. John Collins might be better than Bam Dub. Yo, this is so uh, bad. All right, fellas, we, we got a few more super chats. Told you about John Collins. You are gonna start listening one of these days. 
John Brooks said, given his style of play, if Pistol Pete played in 2000, in 2023 NBA, where do you imagine he would rank among the NBA players today? He's Trey Young. Oh, he's 40 what? and 10. That's his style of play. He's Trey Young. Whether or not he's better than Trey Young or not. 7% three point shooter for his career. <laughs> he's Trey Young. Give me uh he'll be uh yeah, Trey is a good comparison. It'll be Kyrie. How's he dub? No, I don't think he's Kyrie. I'm just playing, by, bro. by any means next. You guys yes. see the background layout? Oh. Are they are we over time? Are they supposed to start? No, no, no. We got a few more minutes, but we are about to wrap it up after this last super chat. We got two more that I need to get to. Lego Rover said again, ticket. It's not fair to say Dale doesn't hold KD accountable when KD got swept. He didn't bring up Steve Nash not one time. That is true. Why would I he hold did, on? He did say it was on KD. And, hey, right. Ron, I just want something in. A point. Trey Young is three of seven. That's forty-two <laughs> percent. That's about forty percent. I said forty percent and five turnovers. Right? Mm, he's got two. <laughs> James Harden was forty Size and four. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> youth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Watching Kyle Lowry play basketball is painful. Man, why it's, hasn't he retired? He needs to retire. Come back to Toronto. We got a we got a management job for you, bro. Come back. Yo, it's always been painful though. It's not like this is new. It was painful before Kawhi got there. It's always been painful watching Kyle Lowry play basketball. All right, fellas. Well, we had a good show. You guys know exactly where to catch us at tomorrow. We're going to be here at noon Eastern time, 9 Pacific. What y'all got to say on the way out? Tune in tonight and don't let Mars spew these fake uh, stats. Dub, you got cooked. Hey. James, Harden, James Harden was 30, 40 and 34 without Joel Embiid mm-hmm. in the lineup. Check out, check out Fluent and Chill on Thursday with a uh, special guest from the NFL Network, Cynthia Freeland. We're going, uh, what are we doing? Analytics is the only thing that matters. Um, oh, football and some basketball talk. Hell, basketball facts. Watch the games, Mars. I was just breaking, you know, fuck you, fuck you. Ticket, oh, what you got to say on the way out? Dub, oh, they they do, <laughs> dub, <laughs> dub, man. <laughs> oh, he left. Subscribe to the personal <laughs> channel. You already know, ring that notification bell so y'all get all the updates. Check out my boy's channel. No one got a channel that he gonna say he gonna start dropping videos. So check him out. Also, I'm waiting on Mars to do his first live stream on his channel. And Big Ox, I subscribe to Big Ox. I'm waiting on him to put some more content out. You know what I'm saying? I oh, subscribe to Big Ox. Appreciate you, fam. Yeah, I seen you. you you're a real one, dog. I ain't know. At first, I had beef with you, but now I'm cool, bro. I respect you, my G. You know what I'm it's saying? It's love. It's love. It's crazy. Yeah, he, 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 ain't, no, he ain't even getting up. That's wild, bro. That's what, that's what our, our channel, dog. Our channel, our channel bro. bro. You know what? It's fine because we get it out of mud, bro. We all homegrown. Feel me? When first last stream when I hit 2K subs. First last stream when I hit 2K subs. Dang. Hey, John B. Because I'm fluent. Hey, Drink more water because I'm fluent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stephen A. stole your stuff, too, Tomo. Fluid. It's fluid. He's stealing my yeah, stuff? Stole, Damn him. Yeah, he stole it from you. Look, him. Look, 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 look. I'm going to sue him. I saw, I saw him on YouTube today. It's fluid. I said, huh? All right, That's so we'll see, we'll everybody see you after us. Everybody want to be us. After the Lakers-Wolves game, we're going to pull up with a with a post-game stream. We'll see y'all. Kings and six. Yo, Kings send me the link. Like the beam. <laughs>